lights, camera, and a whole lot of Karen. In this thrilling edition, we expose the Karens and Kevins who thought they could bend the world to their will. Spoiler alert, the world has other plans. Get ready for a hilarious lesson in humility. Diving in, we've stumbled upon a Karen who thinks she's the undisputed DJ queen of the century. That's exactly what I'm doing. Good. Yeah. Balls. Yeah. I'm not a DJ, but you have to find something on your playlist that's good. Yeah, I mean, since you know more than me, so go right ahead. <laughs> and when the song stops, I'm just gonna let it go. I'm gonna get paid regardless, so it don't matter. She, 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 she's because? complaining about the music, so I said, go ahead and do it. Since you're so better than me, you know what you're doing, go ahead. I was looking for any song that was good. Well, I figured it was a regular playlist until then. Uh, it's not, that's not how DJ works. Well, I mean, I'm not getting paid for this. Do you have a request? No, apparently she knows what she's doing. Yeah. We've got a fierce 17-year-old taking on a Karen. You don't want to miss this epic showdown. And here's what our brave teenager had to say. Hey everyone, so I just wanted to touch base about my video I posted last night. Um, I didn't expect it to really blow up. Just kind of posted it so my friends could see because I couldn't send it because it was so long. Anyways, so um, I won't be posting a part two. Like I told, um, I, like I said, it, it's all it is is just like yelling and screaming for nine minutes. Um, my manager came. We might be tres uh, trespass finding her. Um, sorry, I'm like really anxious because of all this. That's why I've deleted it because everyone's just going a wall, and I'm like actually getting anxiety from it. So can everyone like calm down? <laughs> like it's not that big of a deal. Like we all deal with Karens another day but if if i get permission to post it i'll post the whole video um but just for now i just want to uh, not have it out to public just so it doesn't like circle back and cause any issues for us in the long term so hope everyone can understand that thank you please respect me from devoted podcast enthusiasts to downright creepy stalkers we've witnessed a transformation that can only be described as karenified yeah, that's totally fine. Please leave us alone. Yeah. Because clearly, you have I'm going to get a restraining order in the amount of harassment. Oh, no, I'm going to I'm gonna get a restraining order in harassment. I'm literally having a fancy dinner. And I'm having a fancy dinner in town, and you just heard that I was here. Oh, no, that you have talked about me on your podcast saying that I bullied you. No, Do you not think this is no. bullying, finding me, and harassing me in public? I absolutely I, will get a restraining order. You will get a cease and desist from my lawyer because you talk about me and say and I don't even speak to you. You're about to get thrown out of this restaurant and never be able to come back. Put here. your hands on me. Put your hands on me. Sir? Yeah. You guys? Sir? Hi, sir. I'm sorry. I heard this woman is harassing us and just walked yeah. in screaming at us. Yeah, let's she needs to, to be the, thrown like, out yeah, of here. We're having a nice day. Hey, get out. Yeah, oh yeah. She wasted. She wasn't sitting at a table. No, she, uh, this is. We didn't say her name. 
She doesn't know how lawyers work. Get ready for a front row view of the shop apocalypse. The store owner is about to unleash a mind boggling meltdown extravaganza. The store owner has a meltdown. I am asking for cigarettes. No! I, I don't want to say cigarettes! You don't have to say no! cigarettes! No! I don't want to say cigarettes! Why? No! Why I don't want to say cigarettes! No, are you okay? No! I don't want to say cigarettes to you! Oh no! No! Why? Why? Why you say cigarettes? Why? You have to do cigarettes! Why you say cigarettes? Why? Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the one and only Notorious Karen who's been making rounds on social media. Let's roll that clip. So, so basically what I was saying was to the person, don't touch the wrist. So I showed them how to do it. <laughs> so I touched it because I said, don't do it. So if you do that, this is what happens. That's why I touched the wrist. So basically, because someone touched the wrist and he screamed up, so then I went to him, don't do that. So I showed an example, touching the wrist, this will happen. Do not touch the wrist. And then this man here, a very common boy, very rude. In fact, he was very, very rude. He was very rude. He was very rude boy. He was very arrogant and rude to a lady. Pardon? Oh, really? Well, I love Boston and I love London. Part of my life. I'm very happy about that. You take care, my boy. And God bless you. <laughs> Anybody else would ask you, sir? Okay. I came from North Yorkshire. What I do is I'm a street angel. I work on the streets, I sit on the streets with homeless people. So they need an ambulance, they need the police, or anything like that, they need doctor, anything, that's on there. I originally sleep on the streets with them. So I come to this area and also uh, called the King's Cross. Two areas. But mainly I do in the Victoria area. Just where the uh, Victoria uh, line is. That's where I stay. That's why I would just sleep on the streets with other people. So they call me the street agent. That's why I come from North Yorkshire over here to sleep on the streets. You're welcome. That's why you pay my seat right off there. <laughs> but I also have a horse as well. But this one today is playing up today. It's been quite crazy this but horse today. You can't be sure, kids. You can't watch, I'll show you. You see? You can't show me today. I have no idea. I have no idea. I Watch as Karen receives a polite request to leave, but brace yourselves because she's got her own agenda in mind. Excuse me. I've been 
it's a hex, it's antagonising the horses, it's one oh, okay. oh, So okay. either you stop doing that or you're just going to need to move on because it's antagonising okay. the horses, right? They're not in for that job. Okay. Right? Sure. Gets in actual yeah, fact, you're having spoken to about it already, have you? Yeah. So now you've struck to them and you serve us to their duty. Really? Okay? Oh, yeah, you're wrong. Are you sure, Kelly? No, by, oh. no, hang on, by constantly being around them. I like horses. So, right. I like horses. Okay. Well, you've been spoken to you now by several people. Okay. Oh, yeah, I've been spoken to you by one person, my sugar, the horse. What's your problem? That's no, two. Well, now two. My, my colleague as well. I'm going to share. It's a horse. Just, just be considerate. Just be I will. Considerate. Uh, just for you, I will. Do. I'll try my best. Be considerate of the trooper and be considerate of other people around you. I do. That's what I do. Okay? I do. Opposite. Right. So you've been spoken to three times. Three times. Don't be keep four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three times, that's quite impressive, three times. So that actually matches your IQ level. Because you don't really? even imagine. It's really? Oh, wow. Hallelujah. Here we go, show, boys. Here we go, show. I might get to a four time, five times, six times. You never know. You never know. It's in London, you're wearing a smile. <laughs> you can do a better smile like that, yeah? You know what it speaks to me the more, it's quite rude as well. <laughs> Even the guards couldn't contain her, and now she's headed straight for the police officers. I'm asked coming in every single weekend now. Oh wow, look at that, a little egg just thrown on me, how nice is that? That doesn't mean that, that means you're being watched by an angel. I know, so I'm an angel, I'm a street angel you see, <laughs> see the guy guys, you see what you carry yourself, I am a street angel for all London and that came on me right there and that's saying that I am being watched by an angel by the power of God, our great Allah, he's a messiah, he's a, he's a little angel, he said don't you worry Sandra, I am with you, so I'm a street angel from God. And that's just proving it that he sent his little angel down. service of their duty, okay? So that's what you're doing. By, no, by stroking the horse, it's not. People are stroking the horse all the time. Yeah, but, but these are the guards' horses, though, right? And one of their officers come out and ask you to walk. So they you, no, they not. It's a joke. 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 It
And my, my colleague, my colleague was nice to you earlier as well, and he, he asked you nicely. Yeah. I think he was quite abrupt. He just, he just, he just ignored what he said. Despite all odds, Karen keeps on going, fueling the chaos like a determined Energizer bunny, but not nearly as cute. That's ignoring him, though, isn't it? It's the guard though, isn't it? And he's, he's looking out for the welfare of the horses, isn't it? And the troopers who are riding the horses. They're okay, stopping the horse. And he's asked you not to, if you keep doing it. And you've been here for hours. Because it's, 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 but it's bothering the troopers, it's bothering the horses. And they've asked you not to, and then my colleague asked you not to. And you, get, you continue. So that's, that's the issue, isn't it? It's, it's like, We've never said it was an issue of crime or anything like not. that. We've just asked you to not do it. It's well, like if you were kept touching someone's car, isn't it? It might not be a bit of a, it might not be a crime, but it bothers them. Things like that as well, you know? It bothers them. Taser on my head. Like a jump. Hey? Taser on my head. jump. So, sorry, excuse me. You've you had a massive go at my colleague here for asking me for that and not to touch horses. You're not laying into him for that. Not that I want you to. It's fine, it's funny. But I don't want you to. It's I'm fine. just saying it's it's funny, isn't it? It wasn't being yeah, but it wasn't being rude. My my colleague was just. Yes, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. All the cameras. All the cameras. <laughs> um, um, I beg your pardon. All the cameras. All the cameras are still there. Okay. I care about that. What, why did you care about that one? Because I think it's because he was a policeman and he told you something. He my husband's really a police officer. My husband's a police officer. Which police force? Not in England, but in England. Okay, well, fair enough. He's a better police officer than you'll ever be in your life. Fair enough. He's a nice police oh, officer. Oh, fair enough. Very nice. African police are very nice and gentle and warm and loving. More power Not like you guys. He got enough. power, we've only guns on, yeah? Nothing. All part of being an AFO, it's just a kit we've got to wear. But anyway, you, after my car. When you take it off, you've got nothing, haven't you? Yeah. And you've got your nothing, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. So you've still nothing, innit? Yeah, fair enough. You've still nothing. Yeah. Because God's creative, innit? He made you, didn't he? He didn't make it to be like a power, didn't he? <laughs> We're over the day. I'm not sure how big a forward to it, big muscles on women outside there by stroking the horse. He didn't use force at all. He just no, spoke to you. No, force like as if like in a big man. He just spoke to you. You can't help the shape he is. <laughs> this is going to be better than me. Better than me. Well, like my colleague did earlier, he took it to one side, didn't he? He spoke to you nicely. But you ignored him. What about the guard officer? Can you speak too nicely? Hmm? Our colleague inside told us that he spoke to him. What about the guard officer? That would be two. Yeah, what's the name? Thank you. Young Kevin gets a taste of instant karma and finds himself unceremoniously fired for dishing out attitude to colleagues and managers. Ouch. Sir, you, you are, you're done. Done with what? You're done working here. You no longer work here. Since when? Since yesterday when I told you you do not have to come back. Wow. Because you were terminated for your mouth and for your attitude. What now? I was for, just talking to you. Okay, first, no, you were not just talking to me. I was. No, you were not. No, I was. Okay, no, you were not. And because of this right there, that's why you're not working, sweetie. Because, so when and when I was speaking to you yesterday and I kept I continuously told you that you needed to put your phone on the desk and you did not. You know my mom, you don't need no, to no, talk no, to like, me like that and you like, don't need okay, to have so, my phone okay, taken away. You don't need this attitude. No, I don't need this attitude from somebody. I'm not doing that. Right. But you know what though? This is your job, sir. You are not at home and you are not at school. So have a good day. You and you're not my mom, and hey, you're not my you're right. teacher, so exactly don't talk to me. No, boss. how am I going to do this? Because this is not... You have a good day, Hello. sir. Thank you. You have, have a good day, day, too. Bye. Bye. You. Ugly. 
Handling a Karen like this can be a real test of patience, especially when she starts throwing insults at your dear old mom. Oh no, that's just too far. You start dissing my mom? Bro. Educated are my girls who have a charity and a business and they're half your age. Mm -hmm. So what the are you messing with my son for? Did you not get it already? When I laughed at we've, him? We've been together for like two years now. It's funny because he told me he's with some other chick. Do you know that? It's the girl me. With the baby? No, 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 no. The girl with the baby where he's taking off and she's coming to my house and picking him up? Because that's where he was supposed to be at today. Do you know that? Ask him about her. Oh, I will. Ask him about her. I will. So, mm -mm. what are you waiting for? Your son. No, 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 no. Because he went back into the house and he was on the phone texting with you. Mm-hmm. He said he's on the way. So he's going to walk down here with his stuff. He's going to get in the car. We're going to go back to where I live. That's what? how that goes. For what? Just get out. For what? Get out. For no. What? Get out. No. Get you're underage. You're underage. No, no, and I'm no, no. and I'm grown. No. no, 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 no you're no. underage. Would you're underage. She would destroy you. She would destroy you. She would Ah, oh, Lord. Caterpillar eyebrows. Can you, like, just go? Mm -mm. Can you go? Bro, no, you can't go? Mm -mm. Get out. Why do you think I want my son... To be with your them. daughter you said your daughter your, they have charities and y'all talking why like you, that why do you want that's to be with my crazy son? is it crazy you don't, your mama crazy. gave birth to you that's, that's crazy my mom's a good person is too she really yeah so why would you why would you dishonor her by showing your and selling your my mom knows what i do why would you dishonor her by showing her my mom knows what i do so so your mom's no good she's a piece of too oh don't, don't talk about also? don't talk about my mom is she a piece of my mom. No, no, no. Obviously, she's a piece of. Don't talk about my mom. She sits there and acknowledges what she. Don't talk do. about my mom. She sits there and acknowledges. Don't talk about my mom. Why don't you just like drive away now? No. Drive away. No. Just drive away. No. Why not? No, because your Nobody son's coming you. here. Nobody wants your son's you coming not. here. I bet you he's not. Where's my phone? Give me my phone. I bet you he's not. <sighs> because it was funny. Because um, he was going back in the house. Okay. So I, I I think it's funny. You're just wasting your time here. Okay. Because um, he doesn't even want you at my house. You not? He's embarrassed that you're there. No. He's embarrassed that you're there. This is the fourth time I've he been in this exact spot to get you're, your son. He's embarrassed that you're there. Other he asked me to park here. Other girlfriends out here came there. to my house. Oh yeah. They've he eaten at my house. There. Okay. They've been invited into my house. Okay. So, so what's the difference with you? I'm just here. I'm just laying on your Okay. Because you ate. And you don't get that. Okay. You don't get it. Okay. <sighs> and the madness just keeps on rolling. I saw my dog was at your house. Oh. 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 You're at the corner waiting for him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Your dog was so more valuable when it came in my house. You Did you even know about it? Did you even know about it? I knew it. Her name's Maddie or Millie. Millie or something. You knew about it she after she was already cage. here. She was in a cage up in the in the room. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, we knew about it. Yeah, we did. So if it, if I was such a problem, then why'd you let a dog in your house? There was more because he told us a story about you going to move into some house or something. Nope, I was in Mexico. Yeah, without my son. With my best friend for her oh, birthday. My son. Cause you so won't let him go anywhere. And he doesn't have a passport, and we're working on it. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 You hope my mama dies? Say it again. You hope my mama dies? Who cares? Who cares? Don't you have a charity, right? Let her record you. Who cares? Who cares? You have a charity, right? Who Y'all have a charity. Oh, no. It's all been on video. It doesn't even matter. I'm a stripper. You're right. I do. Okay. Yeah, how does? Mm, no okay. You're literally okay. I hope your when your son sees this video. So it doesn't even no, 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 no. No, you have a charity, right? You have a charity, right? Y'all help so kids sad. and y'all help the homeless and y'all feed the homeless, right? I you see it. Come over here. No, come please, on, come on. Come over here, please. Is that Raymond, or is that the dad? Because I'm I'm pretty sure your husband doesn't mind. Oh, my husband doesn't mind. Oh, now she's From what I've heard about you, that you don't mind. Tell Raymond to come on. He's not coming with you. Okay. He's not coming okay. with you. I'm not doing this. Y'all have a charity, yes. right? Yes. Hi, Callie. Yes. Yes. Uh, I bet Callie doesn't want to beat my Why are you? Don't 
continue to talk. You like a, you're a kid. You're a kid. You're a kid. You're a kid. And you're a grown adult. And you have a charity that you're risking. You're risking your charity. You're the one that said you wanted my mom to die. You said you wanted my mom to die. You said you wanted my mom to die. Right? Right? You wanted my mom to die, right? No, come on. You wanted my mom to die, right, Cheyenne? Right? 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 I like Callie. She's been nothing but nice to me. She's been nothing but nice to me. Oh, my goodness. Karen remains oblivious as she unwittingly complains about her sandwich being made perfectly according to her specifications. Watch this Karen that came in and yelled at us for her own stupidness. But she, she already you ate it. You asked and me, you remember you asked if I wanted pepper jam cheese. Pepper pepper jam cheese. And then you okay. were busy making somebody else's sandwich. And then I said, I said, is my sandwich even uh, done yet? And then she reached over and you, took some ham. Ma'am, there it. is cheese on it. There is cheese under the ham. There's no cheese under yeah, the ham. There's cheese under the ham. There's cheese under the ham. Exactly. There's cheese okay. right there. It was good, wasn't it? It just still tasted funny, but oh, if there's cheese, then that's all I'm complaining about. So, um, it just didn't taste like it. You know, like I said, it was the fact that you were distracted. You were making two sandwiches at the same time. And then my I, know I, I, I get this to me all the time. I just get this sandwich all the time. So, I, I know what something does. So, but I happen to be almost all the way home, and I just start taking two bites of it from starving. But, okay. Hold on your crumpets, folks, because British Karen is on a tear, crying out animal cruelty. Sorry, who are you? Get out my way. Get out of Sorry, who are you? Sorry, you are? Just call police. Okay, call them. Get call out them. of my way! Call them. You're cruel, cruel to that dog. Don't say anything to us. watched you all the way down there. I'm telling you! Get out of my way. You've just assaulted me You poor little thing. Look at its eye. You've been cruel to that dog. You've been cruel to that dog, you poor little thing. What are you going to do about nine, it? 999, nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine. get straight onto him. Ask have for you seen him? I'm with this dog. Go on, go yeah, stroke him. Go and stroke him. Go and stroke him. Have you seen him? He's been cruel to this dog. Yeah, go and stroke I've him. I've seen him. You see that dog there? I'd like you to go and stroke him. What is your name? Get Who you. are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Think I'm frightened of you? I am not. I'm frightened of you. Are you yeah. getting the police here urgently yes. or not? Yes, come in. Yeah, Let's talk them. Do you guys want to go inside for me while I speak to this lady? RSPCA. Yep, yeah, RSPCA. Get them down here yeah. as well. Anyone yeah, else? Cruel. Cruel. Anyone else? What, what, what you got? We got going off there. What you got going off? What's it got to do with you? Who are 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 you? I'm asking you. The Who are you? Cruel. Where did you wake up on? Are you married? Are you married? What's that got to do with you? I'm just wondering what bloody man's putting up with this. Oh my goodness. She's tried to attack Police me. I've got it on way. camera. Police what? on the way. She's trying to attack me. She's trying to attack me. I've got it on Don't camera. Don't rage around to me. I'll She's already tried to attack me. She's already tried to hit me in the face. You've got RSPCA coming out to you. Can't wait, love. Yeah. Do what the f you want. I don't care. I know. Have you got a husband? To do with you. I'm just saying, who would put Cruel. up with you? Cruel. Has she been drink driving? Cruel. Right, I'm phoning the police. I'm telling you, been, I'm don't telling you, you've been drink driving. One. Look, don't you watch you. One. You got your own Instagram don't. live, lady. I don't give tell. Are you married? I don't give are you married? Are you are you sexually harassing me? I'm asking, are you married? Are you sexually harassing me? My wife's there. I'm not sexually harassing you. This is going to go viral. This do lady. What the fuck you on? Oh, do goodness. it. Do it. Are you married? Don't. Have you got a fella? Or a son? Feel sorry for a lot of them. Can't wait. Tell him to come down. Come in. Tell him to real. Do you allow your husband to be cruel to dogs? Yes, she does. Yeah, we're cruel. That dog is frightened to death and got a black eye. Yeah. What dog's got a black eye? That dog. She is. She's unstable. She is. I can't wait for this to go live. Sorry, who are you? Sorry, what's your name? What's your name? What the hell is <laughs> asking me my name Bye. for all times? 
see you later. These Have a nice day. Oh, animal cruelty, these! Animal cruelty! Have a nice day. Thank you, love. Animal cruelty! All the best. Yeah. See you later. All the best. Thank you. You won't believe your eyes when you witness this epic Kevin freakout. It's too good to keep to ourselves, so let's hit that play button and enjoy the spectacle. Oh, this is for my safety, sir. You blow me. This is why I think of solar. <laughs> oh man. Uh oh. Buckle up, because navigating life with a Karen neighbor is always a challenge. And this next one takes it to a whole new level of difficulty. Leave my kids alone! A baby dude's up all over. That's what happened. None of us did. right to video record it as well. That way I can defend myself in court because I'm going to sue right back. I can not believe it. So what? Don't talk to her. Just leave her alone. She's great. That's what happened. Okay. Don't talk to her. Yeah. <laughs> You got videotaped too by like throwing the ball. Fine, get down. A baby threw it in your yard. It's just a baby. Like, like, she took his ball? No. Oh, she wanted to? I begged it. Look, and they already came inside. They only come out. They're my kids. She caused me trauma and pain. She loves to watch me get tackled by the cop. Camera's getting this too. My camera's got you. So go ahead. Up, cause I'm gonna go get my protection order. You better run scared, you fat. And I'm on my ear, but I'm not talking to you. You fat. Bruise some Cause when I leave, people are gonna get you. They're gonna drop you blessing, give you free bath and body work every day, all day. Just like you came to my work, that's harassment. Tell your family to stay out of my work. That's harassment. I have a mental health issue. You harass me on that too. That's a felony. You hear this? You got this parent. Take this and record it. Yeah, I got a homegirl. Laptop. You're done. Felony all day. 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 I got a good attorney. I hired my own attorney. You can come in the dance today. I get paid to dance all day. And this. We can't wait to hear your thoughts on this next clip. Comment below and let the discussions begin. I don't think Trump is perfect. I think he has many mistakes too in his life. Do you think one of the mistakes might have been taking classified documents and hiding them uh, no, in the he, bathroom at he, his golf club? He, he did not hide anything. I find it the truth in news and Fox News. You know Fox News just paid $786 million for lying to its viewers. No. That was because he paid the $700 million because of the computers. You know, that when you vote, they, they kind of steal the votes. 
They don't. That's what Fox News told you. But Fox News admitted lying and had to pay $786 million for lying to its viewers. I missed it. I saw it. I saw it in the in the. I know because they reported it. They made it feel like it was totally true. But then they had to pay a bunch of money because they were lying. I don't believe that. I think oh, everything is just to get him to get in a Trump. Get ready to witness the ultimate meltdown as this Karen completely loses it on this poor guy. What the hell do you, you just hit me! You just hit me! What? You were on the pavement! You, you on your phone! Don't touch my bike! Don't I touch don't touch don't cut your bike if I Oh, shut up, Karen! Yeah, that's your name, isn't it? Look, I'm filming you! Look, I'm gonna sit this down! You do me. not have my permission to film me! I don't I'm need your permission! Why did you just hit me? Come on! Do you always drive up and down this road like a flipping idiot? Do you always drive like an absolute moron? How dare you speak to me in that tone I of voice? I will talk to you however I you like. a little bit more exercise, oh, your eyes might Well, work. you clearly don't exercise. I beg your pardon. Oh, yeah, I went there. Yeah. I, what, were you on Tinder or something? Well, you're a bit too old for that, love. Yeah. Well, at least I'm not too stone overweight. Oh! Get this out of the way. I've got places to be. People. You're not going anywhere. Take your hand off my car. No. Take your hand off my car. No, I'm going to be calling out. this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Out, out. Don't you get my car. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. I'm going to call the police and you're going to stay well, right here and explain to them. Then you call the police. Yeah, then. yeah, yeah. I'm just going to say this to them. You oh. absolute. Yo! You want this? Yeah? Huh? How dare you react to me like that? Oh, how dare you? How? Such a Karen cow, cow catchphrase. Yeah. Give me my keys. This is theft. Give me my keys. Oh, what? Oh, what? You're going to harass a fast food worker, are you? Come on, I've yeah. got places to go. Oh, you're such a Karen, aren't you? I beg your pardon. Is that your actual name? Oh, got lucky, didn't I? do you think you are? Who do you think you are, thinking you're all important? I'm on the road. You were on the pavement. You were driving, riding like an what? idiot. You I was driving even like an idiot. Stop. What? You just, you just think you own it because Look, you're on a junction. Why this is a road. Roads are for cars. Remember, pavements Damn are Have you people. not read the highway code? No, but you patently have Well, you need you. to. No helmet. In fact, why don't you retake no your driving test, huh? You really need to. I bet you fell again. Yeah? Oh, what? You're just staring at me. You got nothing That's to say. Out the way. Where are you going? Go. Where are you going? No, you're How not going anywhere. How dare you? Don't you take the no, don't you take you're, those. You're, I'm going to stop filming me. I'm going to call the police. I'm sorry, and call the today. police. You yeah. want a lawyer oh, up? I'll lawyer up, honey. Oh, well, you, God, stop. That, that's filming assault. Me. That is assault. Stop filming me. That I have not given you permission to film me. Well, I don't need your permission. Way. Come on. No, where are you going? Don't go back in there. I've got places to be, places to go. No, and don't touch you... me. That's assault. And that, I did not take for you permission to film me. I don't Take need it away. Permission. You want to get legal? You want to get legal? Then yeah, bring I, it on. I will get heart. legal. Bring Oi. it on. Oi. Why don't, don't you don't. just go and get a helmet? Read the highway code. Stay off the pavements and get a life. Get your bike out oh of the way. God. I'm going. Oh my god, she's gonna run over my bike! <laughs> Oi! Come on, I still need you in life! Brace yourselves for the fiery wrath of Furious Kevin as he unleashes his punch powered fury on a drive through window. Give me my card! Jeremy Johnson! I, you, I ain't the one bring your punch out here! I, you, you think I'm worried about you? You don't know who the fuck I am! Give me my car, dude. You and your talk. Give me my car, punk. No, I'm not. I come. I drove back now. I ain't coming back again. Get someone else, dude. Then give me my mother card. You the GM? You ain't gonna give me my card? I don't know if it's you or not. So you didn't give me a name. I gave you a name, you lying mother. You didn't ask me for an ID. Give me my card! Now, who's I want my bank card!
hard now. All right, folks, let me spill the piping hot tea on Kevin from the chess club. He was all bark and no bite. But when the spotlight was on him, boy, did he lose his marbles. We can talk to me and I understand why you're doing this. And I'll be sure you actually just talk to me for a minute. I don't know. Talk to me with respect. And I don't need to talk to her with respect if you're not going to respect her. You don't want to respect her? I didn't talk that often to her. I would respect her. If you don't need to f*** off. No, I didn't respect her. You leave. I'm the host. Lay something later. I'm the host. 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 I'm Whenever you want. Amazon shut down someone's whole home. Do you, because you they think thought... I give a f why you think that's okay? No, I didn't say you could say the N-word in You did. I heard you. Don't gaslight me. I'm saying yes. If somebody said the N-word in their own home, I would say that, but I'm not saying that's right. Do not ever tell anyone to f*** off. All right. Stop being f racist. I'm not racist. That's just my first name. Okay, white boy. All right, because I'm white, I'm racist. I'm white. Hold on to your hats as a mom goes ballistic over a lifetime fitness incident involving her underage daughter in a swimsuit. You think I'm insane, but I don't care. These are my babies. What am I supposed to do as a mother? I can't just go home. Lifetime is protecting them. They won't tell me. They will not tell me. They won't call them. They won't ask them to fix it. My six-year-old. It's not just us. It's the police. The police were already here. The po We called. Okay. That's why you gotta gather yourself. People think you're just... Okay, okay, I'll gather yeah. myself. My name is JC Underwood. This is my husband, Matt. Here, scoot over. I'm sitting in front of the Gilbert Lifetime. My daughter came home from summer camp today and told me that two six-year-olds with smartphones in the locker room were taking pictures of kids in their bathing suits with their tops off. Six-year-olds and Lifetime won't tell me who they are. My child's bathing suit body is on another little six-year-old's phone. They were texting. They were texting this man. My daughter read the text. She said, Mommy, I didn't want them to take pictures of me in my bathing suit with my clothes off because I told my baby. But Lifetime won't give me the information of these two little girls. They have pictures of her in her bathing suit. They have topless pictures of these other two kids. It's child Don't tell me to calm down. Gilbert and Lifetime. We called the police, they came, they took a report. We're now waiting for the warrant so that we can get the information of the two six-year-olds' phones. I want their parents' names. I want the phones. And I'm gonna sit here, I don't care how long. Tell me what to do. Like, what do you want me to do? These are my children. I trusted Lifetime at camp today. We have this Kevin who might be drunk, but we all know he was angry. You want it? Deal with this guy. Who are you, sir? Who are you? Oh, I didn't come up to you and try and speak to you, sir. You're in our building. Who are you? What? Do you own this building, sir? Who are you? That, I'm asking if can I get your name and badge number? Hi, sir. How are you? Are you Hi. supervisor here? Supervisor? Yeah. I am a supervisor. You're a supervisor. Can I get your name, please? Yes, I'm Captain Kurchaski. Captain Kurchaski? Yeah. Thank you, Captain. Um, no, I'm. I don't need any help with anything. There is. I don't need any help. I'm just going to stay in the publicly accessible areas of the building here. That's all. I don't need any help. Can you please back away from me, sir? I'm going to move around you. No, sir. You're welcome to walk up to me, sir. All right, I'm going to go around you. No, you're not, sir. Yeah. No, you're not. All right. I don't want any problems here. I'm just. I'm in the publicly accessible area. I'm an independent journalist. This is not the Captain. public area. Of course this I'll is the front. public area. No, it is not. 
Of course this is a public area, sir. It's a public hallway. It's a public building, right? This is a okay. government building funded by taxpayers? This is a government building? Yeah. But this is the... So what do you guys have to hide here? I, I'm just an independent journalist just taking some pictures and video in the publicly accessible areas. I don't want to go inside anybody's restricted office or anything like that or disturb any business here. Just checking in on what's going on in this building, that's all. Okay. Uh, the lobby area will be considered the public area? Isn't this part of the lobby? This no. is like a... No. This is part of the lobby. You have pictures everywhere. I'm just taking some pictures. That's all. I'm, saying, I'm taking my own pictures. You have things hung up, hung up. There's some documents over here I want to take a look at. I don't see what's the issue. Those those look like public notices. Sir. Excuse me, sir. No, I'm going to go take a look at the public no, notices, sir. okay? No. Excuse don't me, sir. Don't touch me. Excuse me, sir. No. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. No. I don't. Why are you acting like this? I don't Because want... I act like this. Okay. That's because you act like this. That's yeah. why. Okay. Do you work for the Do you work for the state, sir? Work for state police. Yeah. C Briggs. Okay. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm walking around the publicly accessible area, sir. Like these documents over here. So you have rules and regulations here. Brace yourselves for an unforgettable ride with our very own train conductor extraordinaire. Or we just call him Kevin. Aaron's back at it again. You know why you knew the exception? I wasn't. I just didn't know that I wasn't supposed to call you. No entry sign with a barrier. Why are you shouting at me, mate? Because, you know, you're asking me bloody Look, stupid questions. I didn't ask you anything. You ask me, you're, you're not in a public building. It is. It's a public building. It's not this. Blackpool. It's North. not it's, a it's public, public building. It is. It's for public transport. Public transport, but exactly. not a public building. It is. No, you, it's not. Do you own it? Hey, do you own it? No, I don't own it. It's to the public. Get on the train, you're not going anywhere. You don't need to shout at me, mate. I paid for my tickets. Oh, that gives you the right to just come through, does it? Well, yeah, to pay no, for your tickets. No, it doesn't! Excuse me, pal. Get on the train! Carry on shouting, you're on video, you little oh, weirdo. Oh, what we do? Well, tell your mum that, uh, you know what, you're in the wrong. Tell them that. I will. Karen, now. Calm down, mate. There's no need for that, was there, Mr. Train Driver? Oh, Kevin. Throwing shade at pride clothing? Come on, dude. Let the rainbow shine and give it a fabulous rest. Memorial Day weekend. Where is the display supporting and showing homage to a men and women at a military? There's nothing. There's a couple of little made in China patriotic pieces of shit here. Where's that? Huh? Last week was cop week. Did we put a display up support supporting our police? No, we didn't. Target. <clears throat> what about November? In November, do we get a uh, veterans display that says proud to be a veteran? No, we do not. Is your aunt can help you with? Yeah, I'm... Uh, I don't need to scream. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I just talk loud. Yeah. I, I hope that corporate is watching I just, this I just need to just because I this is bull****. No problem with the pride section. Take the kids out of it. That's what you have to do. Get rid of the kids. It doesn't belong in here. You cater to four, a zero point one percent, and ninety nine percent of us buy this in this store. But that's coming to an end. Corporate better change their ways. You're gonna go down like Budweiser. That's all right. You want to call the cops? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll be I'll be doing whatever the f I want. Shame on you people going in here. You people complain, but you're still shopping this. Did these train passengers overhear a super villain mastermind, or just a Kevin and his dubious plan? The message. Give them the message. They have got 24 hours to respond. The guy who designed the Mini and the X5 needs his royalties. If he's not paid, we will start by blowing up all the BMW uh, showrooms in Britain. And then we'll move into BMW uh, in Germany and blow that up as well. That's the message. Now pass it on. Good day. Hold on to your seats, folks, because we've stumbled upon the most mind-boggling Karen meltdown ever caught on tape. Stop it. Stop. Stop.
Stop. Go. Please stop. I hate you. I know. Please. You confirmed me. Please stop. Stop it. You said you liked it. Stop. No, Stephanie. Stop. 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 Please. Go. Please leave. I hate you for comparing me to them. Please leave. I hate this house. I know. Please leave. Leave. Please leave. Hey, that's my wallet. Leave, please. Stop recording me. Please leave. I can call the cops and get you arrested I know. right now. Please so stop leave. Stop recording me. Please leave. Stop recording me. Or I'll have you arrested right now and ruin your life like you ruined mine. Next up, we have this Kevin who's not exactly fond of the furries. And bring it in. I want to murder you in cold blood, you freak. Wow. You freak. Record me. Yeah. Disgusting. The worst part of capitalism right here. <laughs> it's just a hobby. I would murder you both in cold blood. It's just a hobby, bro. I would not, I would not feel any remorse. Hey, guys. See you later. See you later, buddy. Free. Prepare for an encounter with an enraged woman on the roadside who gets upset when a concerned driver asks if she's all right. The drama unfolds, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, with such inciting words, how else is one supposed to react to such a monstrous aggression? Christians? Yeah. Can you get there? Christian Bill? Christian Bill? Yeah. My real size is just like you So where are you coming from? Are you coming from no. East? The East Crescent? Leave me alone, bro. I'm... I just got off from the river swimming. What river? Please leave me alone. Drive off or I'm going to send you to prison for being for stalking me and reporting me. I'm on the side of the road. Where are you at right now, sir? Officer? Where are you at? I'm not an officer. Okay, well, where am I? Why didn't you leave me alone yet? That's a bitch. Well, because you're walking down the road making weird faces and talking in tongues. Why are you recording? You're stalking me like I'm some rapper or something. You're a rapper? Yeah, why are you sending me? What is that? What is you stopping for? I was, well, you was talking to yourself. You know, you was talking to yourself. I was trying to make sure you didn't need help. Y'all ain't being shit. I'm gonna save this one for night. I don't even say that except behave in the night. What's your name? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry for me. Do we need to call and get you some help? Are you stalking me, sir? Get the away from me. Sit down to me. You're killing me, bro. I'm not saying nothing. That's littering. Why are you littering on my place? That ain't your place. If it is, you didn't say so. That's private property. I live on the. I live on the lake. Are you you gonna go get your stuff? stuff. You gonna go get your stuff? I, if you're trying to if you're trying to get the zero, no, I'm not trying to give you. A, I'm trying. I'm just trying to see if you need help. Hey, Kyle, explain it, bro. Do you need help? Well, come back up here. I can't hear. I can't hear you. I I can't hear you. If you're trying to get if you're trying to get to zero, you're going the wrong way. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're on Crescent Lake. You, now you're coming the right way. Can you go around me?
Yeah. Well, if you're going to zero, you got to go that way. I'm thankful you're with me. I just forgot. Huh? What kind of stuff are you on? Is it meth? Is that what it is? We bring you the Karen Grandma. See, that's the thing about Karens. You can be a Karen of any age, and you're still just as annoying as all the rest of them. Isn't it beautiful? So you really want to do this shit, really? Like, I don't get this. You stopped in the middle of the turnabout, which is actually... Right, okay, but listen, you're in the middle of the turnabout. You cannot stop. That's illegal and it could cause an accident. And you know what? If you want to sit there and be stupid, go ahead. And if you want to follow me to the house again, I will call the cops on you, you Okay, do that. Go. Get the out of my house. Go. Go. Get the away from my property. Because you think you're disabled, you're allowed to just drive however you want? This, Kevin decides to confront Lego employees for wearing a pride flag pin. Oh, come on, Kevin. You need to let a little bit of fabulosity in your life. The Lego group supports what? Yeah, oh, the Lego group pretty proud and supports the LGBTQ community. Yeah. 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 But the question is, why are you all in here with those pins on? Do you think children care about what man sucks at home and what, what girl eats vaginas at home? Do you think they care about it's that? Time to leave, man. Do, I mean, do, do you think they care? I don't think they think about that personally. Right, they so why would so, they, so, so, they, they think about it when they see your pen? No, they don't. Yes, they do. It's, yes, they do. it's, it's disgusting. Call That's called grooming. Okay. All right, did y'all mind leaving? Yeah, if you call security, tell security that, you're, that you're in here you wearing a uh, pride flag Absolutely. We will on, let your, you on your shirt. Come on, guys, it's time to leave. Well, you know what's amazing? Most children don't know. He's been educated by me. I think it's grooming. It's, it's borderline pedophilia and child abuse for these weirdos to come in here and wear that, and at the same time, kids buy from the store. When does it stop? Sir, sir, I'm sick and tired. You don't have to shop. Huh? Yeah, but I came in here to buy something. When does it stop? At some point, we need to stop pushing this mess on children. At this point, we're just going to have to ask you to leave. I'll leave, okay. and I won't spend any money at Lego. Fantastic. If you're in here right now, Sir. if you're Sir. in here right now and you care Sir. about value, this store is intentionally promoting LGBTQ behavior on children. Sir, you're, you're spend your money in a place that Sir. doesn't do that to kids. Sir, you're Sir. about to get trespassed. Thank you. Strap in for a wild ride as Karen wreaks havoc on a plane. Get ready to witness a roller coaster of insanity that will leave you speechless. Video. Okay, what? <laughs> Can we go now? She's been doing this for hours. Dealing with a bonkers Karen is like juggling flaming bowling balls. It is absolute craziness, and this one takes the cake. All the time, okay? Huh? You can record me, honey. All right. All that you <laughs> three years. Yeah. You do not properly mm -hmm. go ahead, go ahead. involve her. I'm listening. I'm listening. In your family. Okay. It's a violation. Okay. Okay. Maywood <laughs> Academy. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Oh, you want to Maywood Academy? It's a violation. Wait, Academy only? Or the city? The city. Oh, exactly. okay. I thought you were talking yeah, about yeah. the Academy. No, yeah, okay, no, okay. no, no, no. The city. Wait, it's a violation you for warrant. what? A okay. violation for what? <laughs> Three years? She hasn't been alive that long. Are you drunk? Not only did are she attack me. Are you drunk? But my mom. Come the cops? Yeah, yeah, 
Can you wait? Can you wait? Yeah, yeah, call them. Call them. You're good? Maggie, can you bring me the, you know? Are you are you chilling? What's going on? You're drunk or something? You you high? No, 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 no. Cause you, you Let's do it. Look at your eyes. Your eyes right now. Let's do it. Let's do what? All the time that All I the pass time by. How do you? Me and everybody else that passes by here. Yeah. The same thing. Let's 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 wait for them. Alright. Mike, call him for real. Do you have anything else to do? <laughs> no, 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 no. Could you like? Mike, call him. Call him. Call three years. Call him for Three real. years. Three years for what? How long you been living in Maywood? Let's just wait. No, no, like, like I'm talking no, to you. No, 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 no. Let's just, no, no, nothing. Call him. Why are you calling? No, no, no. no. Call Actually, I'm up the street. You're up the street? I'm up the street. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Let's just wait for them. Oh, you smell like, you smell like oh, alcohol. Really? You smell alcohol. like alcohol hard. Let's think about this. You're slurring your words. Let's think about this. Call let's him. just talk to them, right? How long, how long you been drinking? How much you drink tonight? Honestly. Huh? It's a dog barking. Come on now. You've never heard a dog bark? You have no idea who you're getting into. No, no, no. I don't want to get into and nothing. It's not a threat. Let's do it. No, 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 no. Let's yeah, yeah. It. Of course, let's of course. Do let's, no, let's do all the legalities of the of legalities. Yes, of course, of course. Right, right, right. And that's what I want too. Yeah, I, yeah, I want it to be it. all calm or everything. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I love no, my no, dog. No, no, no. This, I'm going to wait here. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm going to wait here. No, and that's cool. I'll wait with you too. I don't want to leave you alone. Let's do it. It's cold outside. You want a little blanket or something? No, no, no. All right, all right, all right, that's good. I'm a Buddhist. You're a Buddhist? Of all the Buddhists. How's that? How's that going? What do you think? Is this against Buddhism or anything? Yeah, it is. You doing this? Getting drunk? Is drinking no, against no, no, Buddhism? No, 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 honey. You have totally huh. against of all legalities. Yeah. How can you do that to the dogs? What did we do to the dog? Not attend to them. Dude, are you serious? Yeah, serious. We love my dog. I love my dog. Oh, really? How like, so? Camila. Camila. No, nothing, honey. Nothing. You speak, you speak Spanish? I don't speak. Me me pinche. She can smell. It's because she smells drunk people. You know. Maggie, you sure you want to wait for the cops? It's not yeah, gonna get, go yeah, good for you. I'm just gonna do it right here. No, no, wait for right here. Wait right here with me. No, no, no. <laughs> Are you gonna start meditating or what? In the realm of rude customers, the Taco Bell employees have had enough. Witness their heroic stand against a truly unruly customer. Why don't you come out with your own eyes and take a look? She actually is outside. She can see right at me. Sir, if the comments is to tell you to drive up it, so you can get a chance, but hey, you know, common sense ain't that common. Common sense? Common sense, that's what I said. You guys' heads are up your And so is yours. You don't smell that like on your lip. <laughs> you have a good night, sir. Be blessed. Who about yourself and Your tell me how it is. are going to get fired. By who? Uh, you can tell me how you take. I'm taking out Colin McCoy. Or you can have a good kid. I'm good with either one. Really? This kind of service at the Taco Bell. Oh, and I was that kind of attitude? Yes, sir. No, because I didn't understand what you said you had or didn't. Because have. you can't even you. get you sick. What's your take on this clip? Leave your thoughts down below. Do you see this? I didn't. You did it first. And you always do this. You always. do this. I see you walking. You're a liar. It's the first time I see you. And look at, look at. You see what they're doing? And now she's gonna call. She's gonna say black. That's why you're getting in my face because I'm black. Why? You get the away from me. Do you see Why what they're doing? Talking like this? This is what I go through you every day on the beach. Bike lane, every I am not on the bike lane. These two. Like this. I'm with my kid and she's Get the away head. from me. Look at this. Can you stop recording? Get the right away, away from me. Can you stop right recording? Right Why not? They're not allowed. You, they saw how aggressive you were and how close to 
They were riding so Stop to my car. Stop pressing to me. Right, I did not Get the f out of my Stop face. Get the f out of my face. Get the f out of my face, bitch. I'm sorry, Why ma'am. Why is she just... acting like that? Because you're a is gonna say that. If I'm wrong, you're yeah, right. Yeah, you're a Get the f away from me. Get the f away from me. You were too close to my this is a hate crime. Hold on to your holy water, folks, because we have a religiously fervent Karen who simply can't handle a male library clerk confidently rocking makeup and a skirt. I was shocked to see a male employee sitting behind the children's desk with facial hair, wearing hot pink eyeshadow, mascara, nails painted, and giant black hoop earrings. Immediately, my son and I left because I felt unsafe and needed to protect my child. I called the library because I was very concerned about this. I was connected with the CEO, Jason Cool. He was unprofessional and insulting. He completely dismissed me, defending the right of this man dressed in makeup in the children's department. Jason claims not one person had ever complained about this. Hard to believe in a heavily conservative county. He agreed to meet me in person on the issue. Four days later, I arrived to the library for my meeting. I was shocked to see a huge crowd of LGBT protesters, the media, and five police officers. Not just officers, police cars. I was so upset to see this. And it was challenging trying to dodge the media just to get into the meeting with Jason. Then I come to find out that the meeting had been canceled, to which I was never informed of. Turns out he was on the second floor watching me and taking photographs of me, but refused to come and talk to me. I was verbally abused and threatened by so many that day. Now my face is on the front page of the Post Dispatch, spewing false information about me and that there was a clash of protesters. That is a bold face lie. There was no protesting on my side whatsoever. Now my name is in articles from Montana all the way down to Georgia. How in the world can things turn like this when all I asked was for a meeting? Up on the projector that's not working, I will show you. <laughs> this is a copy. This here is a copy of the City of St. Charles, City and County St. Charles mission statement for the libraries. In one of their values, they specifically state, we are inclusive and provide access to all. Does that all include me? It also states we respect diverse perspectives. Does that respect my conservative perspectives? It doesn't appear to. Also, did you know that the City Char the St. Charles Libraries has been signed up with a highly progressive organization called the Urban Library Council? Of a, out of over 123,000 libraries, St. Charles is one of the 160 systems that is signed up for this. And yes, we, the taxpayers, pay over $10,000 a year to be on this list. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. When a noisy Karen threatens a manager, you know it's about to get messy. Oh no, Karen, you can't be doing that. Your manager is your only ally here. I don't need can you leave? Please, no, can you please I need leave? To these can you please leave? Please? I follow the Ten Commandments. Can you leave, please? I follow the Ten Commandments. You can you leave, please, girls? Sister? I will be calling the police you on you, ma'am. Good. I will call them. Have okay. Them. Call them right now. Call them right okay. now. Call them right now. I want to talk to them. I want to tell them that you keep discriminating against a I very innocent you. woman. I'm asking you to leave because you're you being rude right is now. A you're being rude right now. You know Joe Freeman's a serial killer. You're being rude right now. And by the way, you know they're going to kill you. They're going to Get out of here! Get out! Get out! No. Get out! Get out! Get out! Now! Get out, lady! Get the f out! Now! Get out! Get out, lady! Get out now! Get out! Get out, please! 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 I am going to call the cops if you do not get out, please! Get out! 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 Why are you so hateful? Get out! Why? Tell me why! Get out! Get out!
get out before I get out. Tell me why. Get out, lady. Tell me why. Get why? out. Why are you? I'm evil? asking you to get out. Tell me why. I'm asking you to get out, please. No, tell me why. Get out. Give me one reason. Because you're rude. Get I'm out. Rude. I asked you. What do you I'm need? The get you're out. Rude. Get I'm the out. Victim. Get out, lady. Get out, please. Get out, please. I'm the victim. You're get rude. out, please. Get out, please. Get out, please. We do not. We do not need your business, please. You know what? Get out. Get out, please. Get out, please. Get out, please. Get out, please. I have. Get out, please. Get out, please. Get out, please. I'm reporting. Get out, please. I'm reporting. Get out. Get out. Get out. The police will get out. Karen gets mad at a post office employee, and let's just say it's not pretty. I just wanted to send that letter mail, or can you track me for it? I'm giving you my business thing, so it'll go okay, expedited. Well, I'm asking if you want a letter, or do you want to send it? Expedited. Regular insurance? Let me do this. No, I don't need an extra $200. Okay. Do you want me to do it? Do you want me to do it? Go somewhere else. What? You go somewhere else if the service is bad. This is across the street from my house, so I'll but go if here it's bad, if I go please. somewhere else. It's not your Be business. So rude. Take a look at this clip. It's too good not to show. Get ready for a wild adventure as Karen turns a simple trip to the hardware store into a Shakespearean tragedy. You weren't even born. How dare you disrespect me? I put so much money in the till. Meanwhile, Harry goes under. You don't think of something insane, fake? That's what else you're gonna do? Party's hamburgers. You. I'm leaving. You're so insulting and obnoxious. Oh, I'm surprised you didn't call the police so I could get shot like George Floyd. Idiot white people like you. I don't know, First of all, I don't have a reason to. Every me. customer could back me up. They overcharged me by $100. I make $2,000 a day. How much do you make? Minimum 10, ooh, 15. You think I come here to steal the art supplies? How dare you? My art has been featured in the Times Padilla art section from page three times. I have a resident. Yeah, you did. Oh, you passive aggressive, disgusting freak. Daniel, thank you for making me, helping me on my feminist journey to this hate men. Awesome. I'm surprised you didn't accuse me of stealing it. And when I deal with corporate, and believe me, when I get a little sleep, shower, I tell them that you have done over a basic math problem. Good Lord, over six on your side, small claims court, but my God, they'll be held to pay you jack. You bring your bag for all the halfway decent ones in your barely in. Overcharged me by a hundred dollars. Can't figure out the receipt. I wasn't actually. She's like, what is where is all this stuff on the receipt? I'm like, <laughs> in none of the store has the nerve to imply that I, the lauded feminist Jackson Square artist, breast cancer swear, is stealing your I come here to keep this I business open. In the future I go to Blank, I save fifty percent. Men it. Men stop. You're gonna be death of all of us. Women, all of this? No, I'm, I'm Guys, good. shut your mouth. 
money because the fact that none of you will shut this check down because they can't do Facebook. Who am I just wanting to fund that? I dare you because I'm stealing. Yeah. I hope you got all that. <laughs> oh, I did. Good. <laughs> now These ladies ran into a Karen. Check it out. Who walks through the parking lot naked? Who does that? <laughs> oh my gosh, I met my first Karen. <laughs> I'm too exposed. Who do you think is the Karen in this situation? The students or the bus driver? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Two Kevins get caught red-handed stealing a mobility scooter. Oh, it's not even like a cool thing to steal. Like at least with a motorcycle or a car or something, it's yeah, it's wrong obviously, but but at least the assumption can be made that the person is at least able-bodied. If you steal a mobility scooter, you're just being mean. Ah, oh, anyway, check it out. Yo, what? Well, who do you? Why would you steal a scooter from somebody? No, 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 no. If somebody stole from your mother or father, what would you feel like? That's for the... No, I don't care about your mother. Go and put this... I'm reporting you anyway. Put it back now. I'm reporting you anyway. I watched you steal the scooter from some disabled person. Yeah. And then after you're done, go back to your own country. Come here and you're stealing. Dealing with a crazy neighbor can be hard, especially when they seem to hear everything. Who are you? I'm not playing, Nate. Who are you? You don't belong here anymore. Turn your music down now. You done everybody off. Okay. If you owe me on purpose, turn your music off now. I'm just you about to. This is it, buddy. This is it. This is the last time I'm going to tell you in this neighborhood. Turn your music down. Listen, I'm about to leave. Shut the fuck up. Don't. No. Let me tell you something, buddy. You might with everybody else, but you ain't with 
me. What did I do to you? Turn this car off now. I'm leaving now. Yeah, well, you better get on it. And don't play your music like this ever again. Understand? Because this is gaslighting. You're doing this on purpose to people up. And don't with me, dude. Don't with me. You understand? Don't with me. Don't get off my porch. Get off my porch! Get off my porch for trespassing! Get off of here! Just leave me the alone and I'm leaving! Get out of here! I don't! You get out of here! Get off my property! Get off my property! Moving along, we have another Kevin freak out. What the f is this here? Yeah, what's up? Next up, we have the one and only Planet Fitness Karen, unleashing her inner tornado of outrage. Watch Karen's epic freak out and the energy she puts into it. It seems like Kevin's and Karen's are popping up everywhere these days, like annoying weeds in the garden. Airports are absolutely no exception. So wait, it, Maybe, maybe Karens respawn at airports if they lose the battle with the manager. You think that's enough to kill a Karen? I think so. Racist, racist, mother, racist. Cause you're like a black people. Yo, you're black. You think you're black, dude? You think you're doing it? Dude, stop, man. Stop. You, man. You. Really, you. No, 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 yeah, yeah. Do we gotta do? Go do we gotta do? Go do we gotta do? Make it minimum wage. Don't, don't talk to these people like that. What? Don't talk to these people like that. These people do not deserve for you to talk to them like that. Touch me? I'm not touching you. Can we take a walk? Yeah, let's go. Can we take a walk? Okay. 
No, I want you to walk out like an adult because you can no longer walk out. I didn't do anything wrong. You got about two seconds to keep your shit in. I'm going to shut this up, okay? We're going to go ahead and walk on out, okay? I'm going to ask you one last time. Just walk in. Let's walk out. Yeah. 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 You can walk out like an adult, or you want to go and handcuff someone here. I'm going to embarrass you tonight. I really do. Do you want to fight? No. I want you to leave. Walk out. Let's go. Walk out. Stop. Let's just stop. Why do you want to see how it's going to be? Yeah, you're going to see how it's going to be. This Karen's attack on an employee over a receipt is just unbearable. That's right. Give me my receipt. Oh, yeah. Ma'am, please leave the rest. I want your... my receipt back. I'll give Can you a new receipt. I want my receipt. I want my receipt. Give me my receipt. I'll wait. Just... Not until I have the receipt. Just give me the receipt. Give me the receipt. Oh, oh ma'am. Don't do that. Don't do that. Witness a thrilling clash as a disruptive customer unleashes aggression on staff and an innocent bystander causing utter chaos. I hope you never come back into this restaurant this again. Has no. ruined a planet. Do not come into their restaurant and disrespect them. That's not what you I'm I refunded it. You're a goddamn de facto Satan. Yep. You, know you can that? leave. Thank you. Give me my money. I gave you. I made you a, a refund. refund. Give me the receipt. Here you go. Yep. Give me the receipt. That's not it's all you know how to do is to. Use social media. Yep. Maybe if you actually treated people with Here you are. some respect, you you, you did not treat us with respect. What are you talking about respect? This is the first time I've been here. You did not talk about respect. You did not talk about respect. Have a good night. Thank you. You don't know what respect is. You don't know what respect is, ma'am. You came in here with disrespect. They're a human being. Ma'am, please. We have. You have to get out. I'm sorry. Or I'll have to call the cops. You need to shut up. You're not involved okay. in this. Okay. She's on our side and she's trying to defend. No. Sherlock. Uh, call the cops right now. Kevin, call Mr. Charlie, please. Please, fast. A man menacingly threatens a cat and adamantly refuses to let it be adopted. Okay, that right there is some animal cruelty. They all have their regular okay, ears. Okay, let me have the kitten before you lose it. Maybe I don't want to give it to you. Okay, then you can leave. Well, you have an attitude. I'm going to take the kitten from you. No. I'm going to call PD. Over a cat? Can you, can you call dispatch? Now you're really not getting the cat. Okay. If you call the cops, you're not getting the cat for surely. I, I work with the police department. Yeah, yeah, but you, I, don't have I, to, I don't have to surrender an animal you to you. Don't. It's an option. You don't, you're absolutely Yeah, right. I, I found the cat and you're having an attitude. What is your plan with the kitten? I'm gonna put him in a blender. Okay, I'm glad you're recording that. Right, I don't know, she looks kind of tight. Might go for it later. Lube it up, slip it in. No, nah, I'm just joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Here, here. Now you're really not getting the cat. See, now she's trying to call 12, see? Get ready for an exciting showdown as a fearless Uber driver confronts an entitled rider who perfectly fits the Karen label in this situation following ways this morning. This doesn't make any sense at all. We're never going to get there this way. You have a preference as how to get there? Well, first of all, I would have gone down the West Side Highway and then across 79th Street, but that's beside the point. As long as you were going down the East Side, there was nothing wrong with Park Avenue, and we've now spent five minutes on 132nd Street in traffic. And Fifth Avenue looks like... Well, um... Sorry to hear that. You could have said something in the beginning. Ways is not a substitute for knowing where you're going and how to get there. Sorry you feel that way. I'm not the only one. I'm sure you're not. Now don't talk anymore.
Don't tell me what to do. Don't talk to me like that. I I'm your been... customer here, so just shut the hell up and drive. Excuse me? Get me to my destination as quickly as you possibly can. That's your only That's job right doing, now. But you're in my car. Don't talk to me like that. Understood? Yeah, I understand what Am you're I saying. Clear? Do you understand what I'm saying? You I have understand. one job right now, and that's to get me to my destination as quickly as you possibly can. And if you don't have that attitude, then you shouldn't be driving a service for hire vehicle. Okay? Okay. Take your complaint to Uber. It, it, I certainly will. Okay. In Japanese culture, when a samurai disappoints his master, he must sacrifice himself for the greater good and restore honor to his name. I'm not brave enough to sacrifice myself, but I did sacrifice my fare for the greater good of him getting a better driver. I'm gonna be pulling over to the side and asking you to leave, by the way. I don't think you have the right to do that. I have the right to refuse service. And you seem like here's what's going to happen. A sensitive snowflake. I am a sensitive snowflake. You hurt my feelings. Um, so you I apologize exit the for hurting your feelings. It doesn't relieve. What you're doing. You can have a nice day. Find yourself a better driver. There's plenty out there. I'm doing you a favor. No, you're not. You're f***ing yourself. Okay. Have a nice day. You too. Kevin was compelled to offer apologies after displaying disrespectful and racially insensitive behavior towards another individual. Chinese men told white tourists to not be rexed. Hey, excuse me. You need to apologize to me to up them. For who? For what? You were saying, get the f off my way. You were saying that. You were racist. This is China. Apologize to them. Apologize to me. I'm sorry, if I, but I don't remember saying that. I don't care. You don't remember, I remember. Say it. Say sorry to them. I'm sorry. If I didn't say that. Say sorry to me. Yes, I'm sorry to you. This is China. Don't do rude. I don't care what color you are. This is China. We don't give to anybody. A shop owner passionately unleashes a fiery tirade on an Irishman who persistently solicits them, resulting in a captivating confrontation. Are you going to let me do that driveway for you? No. Are you? When are you going to let me do the driveway? I know if I do him a good deal, he's going to let me do it. No. If the, if the price was right. But it's not my property, isn't it? No, it's not like yours. No. You know, can I tell you just something? Okay. You are one of the most annoying person on the universe. But why can't you take a no for an answer? And if you don't like to come in my shop, don't come. I don't need your business. So if you can't take a no for an answer, you shouldn't be in business. Understand? Now off you go. That is the door. Now off. I only asked you nicely. No, I asked. I told you before. Do not ask me again when you come in the shop. Listen. Now, if you want to sort it out, we can sort it out once and for all. Now, now. Once and for all. I'm telling you. Take care. Learn to take a no for as an answer as a business person. Understand? Everybody is not going to say yes, 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 yes to you. Because you are not, you are a completely cowboy person. I'm a cowboy. Yes, you are a cowboy builder. I can tell you. If genuine person say no, they will walk off. Understand? But, but now, you, now get the f out of here. Now you're swearing for the kid again. I don't care. Yeah, leave me. I don't care. This is my shop. I'm going to swear. Because you are an annoying person. Why are you so upset? Life is too short. I said no. This is uh, no. I don't want to deal with you. You ask me again and again and again. Now f off. So you're really upset that much about the driveway? I'm not upset about driveway. I'm upset about you, idiot, annoying. Now you're swearing again in front of the. Yes, I, I will swear. If you want to hit me, hit me. I never said I was going to hit you. Who said I was going to hit you? Yeah, get the f out of here. Seriously. Yes, get the. So if the price was right, what did it No, say? I won't do it. Even if you do it for free, I won't do it. Boy, come on. Can, can you go out now? Behold, the legendary fast food Karen has crossed our path. Look, you better get her out of my face. You better get her out of my face. You better get her out of my face. I'm 
Prepare for sheer disbelief as Kevin engages in outrageously ridiculous behavior. Roll the clip. <laughs> That's not funny. This has cost about three thousand pounds. I paid for it. And you've just done that to me. I thought you were my sister. Oh my god. Sorry. That was nasty. Right, that is nasty. Was he on film? Did you do that? Reported to the police. Yeah. For what? Pushing her in the water. We saw it. Yeah, we saw it. That's not the point. No, this I'm sorry. No, you stay here and I'll. I'll Can we get your name? Let's get your name. Let's get your name. Yeah. That's disgusting. Just call the police. Call the police. For what? We saw you do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's criminal damage. You're going to go to jail, mate. Simple as that. And you as well, for assisting me. Nothing to do with me. Got it on film. Wait I ain't done nothing. Please, no, Oi, come not away from the place. Do come that here. In this <laughs> Take a glimpse into this astonishing Karen freak out. This is the first time I met a Filipino Karen. I have the right. I was just trying to speak up. I have a tummy ache. I've got a stomach flu. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm a manager. You can pay. I'm from Suri. I will tell all the Filipinos. This is a Can you give me a plastic? I need to vomit. I have stomach flu. For, for, I was in the hospital. How do you feel, man? Oh, I feel like. <laughs> You're ready for a thrilling ride on the Freak Express as we take you on a hair-raising journey aboard the light rail. Now we present a disastrous sales strategy from Coast to Coast magazine. He seen a black person and was like, oh, hell no. And like she was waiting for me as I was going to say. I honestly don't got time for this. This is why you shouldn't put me in areas where people are bougie. People are snobs here. They don't care about other people. They only care about themselves. They are selfish. They want everything to themselves. But don't want to don't, don't want to help a kid out out here hustling at the doorstep. They don't got balls enough to do what I do. Hold on tight as weirdo Kevin becomes the ultimate dog walker heckler, dishing out profanity laden insults like it's his full time job. Look at that, it's an ugly. Yeah, fuck you, Jew. Take your Jewish technology and film me, boy. You little. I'm 
in the street, boy. Come at me. I'll beat the out of you. Jewish couple right there. Jewish couple. Jewish couple. Jewish couple. Look at that fat. Probably doesn't get outside. Jewish couple. Feel me, boy. I'm better looking than you. Mother. USA, the Jews. You got a ugly boyfriend. Looks like all white girls that Mexican cheeks all over the goddamn place. An elderly couple causes a commotion when a toddler walks past their apartment building. That you're not. Oh, you're getting very angry. Not from that out of my hand. There you go. You just stamped your feet just now. Yeah, I did. You I did it. Little cow. I didn't swear at someone or have a go at a three-year-old child for walking on grass. Because wow, I got you on camera now. Assault! 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 I'm not! I'm getting Grabbing hold of me! Get up! Let go of my jumper! Touch me! Wow! Don't you, you dare! Bitch. Touch me! I've got her all on camera! She's just hit me! This made it worse! Wow, I'm ringing the police now. You've just you assaulted it. me! You're on private property! Who bit my jumper? Where's the rip? Where's the rip? Where's the rip? Go! Man, I'm giving this to the police. Oh, She's just whacked me. Did one. Just go? I've recorded it. She's filming me. No, no, no. That's well, illegal. No, it's not. That's illegal. No, it's not. That's no, it's not. That's take your, take your wife. Don't touch me. Take your wife away. I don't care. You're a silly old woman. Go get, go get off. Go get off, huh? Come you shouldn't have come out, you just You shouldn't have done, you've made it so for walking a three year old child for walking on the grass. Three year old child walking on the grass and you think that's okay? It's not okay. Exactly! You need to talk to your wife. Look, the kids shouldn't have been on this path. That's fine, all you have to do is say, please, can you just not walk on the grass? You don't, he's a three year old child, he's a toddler. Well, you should control him then, shouldn't you? I wasn't with him, he's running on grass. God, you're only making it worse. Can you please it's go just and just grass. Grass. We get this all the time. That's fine. It's not just you. Who is you? you? Me? And him. We live in the community. I actually do. Karen of the Year is on a rampage, threatening to call the cops and accusing a guy of rape over a Wi Fi password. What's the Wi Fi password? What's the Wi Fi password? You really want me to call the cops for this? <laughs> Wi-Fi? Go for it. What are they going to do? They're going to laugh at you. you're an abusive narcissist. I'm not doing anything. You raped me. I haven't done anything. Yep, you've done everything. I haven't done Probably anything. I've touched my kids, too. I haven't done anything. Yep. Oh, wow. Please yep. say that. Please say that. What? You've probably touched my kids, and I need to protect them, and that's why we're getting out. Perfect. I'm glad you think that, because you you want to protect them? Because you're the mom wife, right? You're the, you're mom, the mom bear, right? I'm the mom. I, so so then why are you still out. here if I'm I such a threat? Oh, in 23 days. If anybody touched my children, I'm pretty sure they'd be either be dead or. You want to die? Yeah, good. Then that's right there. Good. Okay. Good. So Joseph. So yeah, exactly. You are such a contradicting what lying. Password. It's funny. Thank you. You legit agreed to not sleep in the bed as I long did. as I didn't fight with you, which is okay. I didn't have anything for you to fight about at all. Like I was. No, that's a good no. We agreed. No fighting. We agreed. No fighting. I sleep no bed. There is no. There is no caveat to that. Right. Okay. But cool. now you. Oh, okay. Take a, I wake up to f the Wi-Fi being off. No warning, nothing. So I don't know why over this stupid that you want to end the peace that we have. Sure. And this is what you want to do with the peace. Okay? I have. You get a divorce. You get a non-messy divorce, sure. right? Sure. There you go. Okay. But apparently we're not doing that anymore, right? Is that, if you that say is so. an agreement if that you, we're not doing the peace anymore? So uh, I'm if gonna, you say so, you're the I'm one that you're the only. We are the only one that still 
speaking your word. I'm going to call this Lisa Battles, family advocacy person. Go and, for it. And, oh, by the way, yeah, military spousal support is not a state thing. It's a I know. actual thing. It's a so. federal thing. And since you have more money than I do, I wouldn't pay you anything. And we haven't been married more than a year. So whatever you say. That's funny because... Go ahead, Samantha. Do your research. Life. Threaten me however you want. Do what you have to I don't have to hear it. Just All if you I want to do it. the Wi-Fi password. Do what you have to do. All I want is the Wi-Fi password. Okay, that's fine. So are you only are you only me are you only me lost? I'm about to get naked here. I don't feel fucked with you being oh, that's here. Unfortunate, right? Because so uh, I will call the cops for fucking sexual harassment. How? Seriously? Yeah. Let's play ball. Okay. Kevin, the customer, accuses the hardworking staff of laziness for following company policies. We have seen it above our building. And I was, we, I have all my dispensers to witness that. As long as they see a lightning strike anywhere close, they have to oh, let me you know. You guys are just lazy, that's all it is. You know, if you have an issue with it, what's the name of this customer? If you have an issue with it, you can take it to court. Uh, what's the name of this customer? Walmart, but other than that, we cannot violate the policy. You guys want to load it up again? Yes, sir. Brace yourselves for a delusional rant as the self-proclaimed Queen of Delusion takes the stage and unleashes her tirade at T-Mobile. Queen of Delusion. Did you come up with that title yourself? Are you proud of that one? Are you really proud of that one? Because it seems like right now it's coming back to bite you in the butt. Hello, Mom. I am a federal agent. I will never shut down a store. Whoever's in charge is in charge. The Armenians are down. I'm not worried about Minos. I'm not worried about Russia. Anybody worried about Putin? Because this is his So, if Junior Yunnan wants to keep playing games, tell Sharif, stay with Sam Salerni. Because all you black men are Huh? It's called 1.8 million in gold. You want it? Go to Africa. We gave a black beach back. You don't want it? Stay here. Get off our line. It's the whites and the Latins. Anybody got a problem with it? Because I'm Indian too. I'm Vietnamese, this is trying to free the world. So who's gonna sell me my iPhone today? Who's gonna sell me the biggest iPhone in this house? Cause I got snitched out and I got all up in heat on my house. Chewie's up. Caitlin's done. Her dog is a great dame. Is he allowed to shit all over my house? Who is allowed to shit on me? Who in the streets of IMT? That snitch, Caitlin. So all these white that think they own something, I'm not afraid. Do you want to work? Talk no, to Offset. You got to relax. Talk to First Offset. Off. You got to relax. Go ahead on. Cardi said, don't worry about it. Are you selling me a phone or are you throwing me out? Oh, no. If you're going to talk to my phone, I'm not afraid. Okay. So Sean doesn't work here or he works here? He does work here. Okay. He's not here. Sean's my contact. Okay. Can you say sell anyone in here and sell me any sort of phone? Yeah, what kind of device are you looking for? You show me what you got. Okay, so let me see what I have. It's going on my main line. Talk to Bad Bunny if you have a problem. Aaron Henderson is mad. And I am running for the Henderson. It's Los Melos. That's what I'm I got the water from Mexico. It's Calexico. And if you don't like it, Go where you want to go. I run with the Russians. You like the KGB? Are you stronger than Putin? Vladimir? You stronger than my man? That hell yeah. Are you stronger than Vladimir Putin? I'll let him know you said that. Please do. Aaron said, don't even close your eyes. Anyone got a problem with that? Who is that? Don't worry. You have my ID. I just arrested you. Aaron will talk to you later. We're about to have a lot of fun in Mexico. Tell French. Vladimir said no. Hi, I have a lady who's been threatening me. I'm at a store. Threatening you? I just arrested a black man. It's a showdown of Karens at the one and only Walgreens.
Yes, yeah, she did. She didn't hit her with the bar. She didn't hit her with the bar. Like I said, I'll drag you out here. Drag. Can you call that one, please? Come on. Drag. 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 throwing a temper tantrum on a bus for not standing up for two seconds to let someone out. Well, that's exactly what happened in this clip. Aggressive, all the way down. You cannot hold people captive. I'm not holding her captive. I and said to her to step over. Get up and step over. Get up and step over. Get up and step over. I don't have to get up. No, and I said no. I've moved once and then you ask no. Come and no, come no, and no, because you know what? No, do you know what? She can get up. There's space. There's space. There's space. She can get up. There's space. There's a gap. There's a gap. There's a gap. There's a gap. But there's a gap. Look, she can go. Hurry up. Get the f out. Hurry up. Go. Go then. Go. 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 Go then! No, go! Go! Moving, go! Hurry up! Go! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Now you're making a big effort. Get off the get off the bus, man! By ripping off the bus. Get off! Move your leg! Look, she's making she's making it difficult. So I'm not moving again. I'm not moving again. I'm not moving again. No, this is it. Hurry up! Get off! Then get off the bus! Come off the bus! Come off the bus! Pick up my child, come off the bus. Child. Shut up, man. Hold on to your shopping carts, folks, because we are about to witness a jaw-dropping Walmart freakout. Oh boy, Walmart freakouts are always so much fun. Now that's the good stuff. That's where you can find all the best freakouts. I mean, apart from this channel, of course. Subscribe today. Booyah! That is African American people vote. So back that. Because you're not asking nobody else. In a classic case of prank gone wrong, a TikToker attempts a Cracker Boy prank on an unsuspecting man at Walmart. Little does our brave prankster know, he's about to be humbled by a response he never saw coming. You hear me them there playing cards there, Cracker Boy? Uh. You be quiet, Henry. Ma'am, I just need him to hand him to me now. Why? Because I said so, boy. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are, boy? Uh-uh, say you don't start What's wrong with him, man? You want to take this shit? No, here. don't start well, that's cool, man. man. I'm going to bond him. You're going to try me in here? I'm going to bond Why you want to try me in here, man? Ma'am, 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 ma'am. Ma ma I'm going to bond for fight now. I don't want to sit in that gym. Because I'm not going to f*** with me neither. Man, man, I'm a YouTuber. I don't do YouTube. I don't so you picking with the white, you picking on the right white boy, y'all mother bombing out. I ain't scared. I ain't no coward. You think you can take me? Let's start back in the building while I don't go to jail. Come on. Follow me. Come on. We talk when I'm bombing, I've been attacked your ass time by now. You better believe that. You being serious, man. You're talking up on me. It's a prank, y'all. Walking up on somebody one day for that YouTuber. Oh, you that bad too? Oh, so me? I don't want you walking up on somebody. I need your husband to give you them cards right now. You good, bro? You have a good day. Boy, hell, I got your boy. Come on man. We have Kevin losing his cool after being asked to leave the mall. Roll the clip.
Get ready for an intense workout of tantrums and drama that will leave you speechless. Even the dumbbells can't believe their eyes. For what? We don't gotta talk to the manager. Hey, don't ever come up to me and talk to me like that, son. Like what? Ever. You don't bang your stepsister? Come on, son. That's my clipboard, sir. Come on, son. I don't know who the f you think you are. I'll f up the goddamn floor with you. We don't have to do all that. I just started. You, your goddamn camera. Now, I'll knock your f out too. Look, man, do you know what the f I can do to you? I mean, you probably. Do you know what the f I can do to you? You probably do a lot more to me than your stepsister, for sure. You hear that? Just can't record it. Oh, okay. Hey, I'll this up. So you don't gotta do all that though. I'll f you up. You don't gotta f me like your stepsister. Hey, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. You're, you're going that way. Yeah. All right, sir. Just let me know. And we're going. We're gonna, that way. Yeah, we'll go that way. No, 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 Sir. They're women's gloves. Sir. You know what the f I can do to you? Way more than your No, I don't you know. know. Who the I am? You look like a stepsister for sure. No. Sir, come on. We don't gotta do all that. Uh I think we already got it. Oh, that, that guy that guy really didn't like that one. Holy banger dude. That was insane. <laughs> We gotta get the f out of here. <laughs> that guy definitely bangs his stepsister on the low. Holy God, that was what. We've spotted a wild Karen spreading her toxic brand of racism. Brace yourselves for a showdown with innocent Muslim women. Really, you're gonna be racist here in the drive test? I'm not racist. Why would you say I'm racist? I just said don't be rude. I didn't say anything else. I'm not being We rude. all are waiting in this line. Yes. And everybody heard you here yes. making a racist comment about brown people. What did I say? You said brown people. Okay, a lot of people heard that. I checked with others. It's not nice. It's not. It's not nice. It's not polite. Yeah, and neither is you. Oh, hey, don't record me. It's not on my permission. Don't record me. 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 Don't record she just picked up. There's no security in here? She just picked up. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. She just picked up. She just picked up. And she just picked up. And she just picked up. And she just picked Impatient Kevin demands his vehicle be fixed immediately. Oh, still making a noise. There's noise out of the brakes. What the f? What sort of incompetent show are you running here? You saw that? What do you think my time's worth here? Having to deal with a difficult Karen neighbor is never easy, especially this one. Yeah, make the 
the pile into the road bigger. That's it. Did you need a lesson on how to shovel the proper way? I'm just really sick of you pushing the snow into the road. You're going to cause an accident. You making boulders of snow in the road is a hazard. So for all the times that you've called the police on us, maybe it's time we call on you. For, oh, what did I do? Oh, you have a list. Now, who do you think is in the wrong? Share your thoughts in the comments. Is it, man? Buddy, I'm standing here waiting for the cops as long as you're standing there as well. The cops are He's coming. not doing anything. He's not leaving. Wasn't even tailgating. I don't think anybody wants a phone. Madam, phone. madam. You gotta be over tailgating. Road rage, right? I probably wasn't even doing the damn speed I really think, like, I don't think tailgated. You would have tailgated as too? Sure Get ready to laugh out loud as Karen, the emission aficionado, goes on a hilarious rant about the so-called non-existent emissions of electric cars. What the hell is Karen doing? What? You are right there, love. Do you know what you're doing here with your engine idling? No, what? You are polluting the atmosphere. Really? You're just sitting here without a care of the world with your engine running okay. and you don't care who you're polluting here. Okay, you really? Know, lots of kids live around here, you know. Why? Why? Why is that so? Well, yeah. well, he lives here. I don't see any kids here. Well, they're not here at the moment, but they're living in these flats. You know, the okay. fumes from this car are going in through the, all the, the windows the, and all the, the ventilation. The, uh, the uh, fumes from this car, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, like, you do know that like, this car's electric, right? Ha ha ha! Yeah, yeah. You try and fob me off like that. No, it's an electric car, la -di -da -di -da. just to cover up your crimes. Because I what will crimes? be reporting this, you know. What? What? I've what? Got your Report plate. me to who? To the authorities. But, what? What? And say what? Hey, excuse me. Someone's in their car. Yeah, and I'm going to take a picture of you and all. What? Yeah. For, yeah. So that's you. For what You're reason? sitting in the car with the engine running. You're polluting the atmosphere. That is a crime now. How know? is it a crime? Because you are sending untold. Nasty emissions of poison this... all over this area. What really? It shouldn't be allowed. Am I really? Yes. I think you the, are really, I think the, I think really, the... really. As you live and breathe, as you're talking to me now, you are sitting there with your engine running and you're sat there with a the hat. Atmosphere. And you're sitting there and you're standing over there with a hat on. I'm, like, I'm not complaining so, about that. Well, that might be a crime against fashion, but it's certainly not a crime as in the police are going to get me, are they? Okay, okay so what? You're going to call the police because, because I'm just sat in my car? You're sat in your car with your engine running. If you were sat in the car with your engine off, like, I wouldn't say anything about it. But love, it's an electric car though. I my way and, you know, enjoy my afternoon rather than know, engaging like... in a pointless conversation with you. No, no. Although I hope like... it's not pointless because I'm hoping that you're going to turn that bloody engine off. Love, love, it's an electric yeah, car. Yeah, no, you've got a child in the back there. Love, love, it's an electric car. Do you know what car. you're doing to that child? You've got the window open talking to me. As you would, of course. But I'm saying but it's you, an electric car, though. It's not an electric car. It's, it's an electric car. <laughs> Look, is, there's, there's, no, there's no emissions coming out of it. What are you pointing at that for? What's Look, that? No, no, What I'm, is that? What? Oh, so it, that tells me it's an electric you're car. You're my car now. What? You, you've got the right. All right. You, you, you've okay. got the right to, right. to, to okay. invade okay. my finger. I'm not going to touch your car again. Thank but you. But I'm just telling you. You, you can't just point to that insignia, which I've never seen before, it's, it's, and tell me that that's an electric car. But it's an electric car. There's it's no that emissions. That you, doesn't it? But okay, it's so it's a very quiet engine. It is really quiet. I'll give you that. It's quiet, but it's it's silent but deadly, you know? So, so, so it is silent but deadly. Those poisons, there, those there gases, is no engine. they can't be seen. There's no engine. Look, just listen to me, all right? I'm listening. You listen to me. I'm li all right. Okay. Sorry. All right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, can we have a decent peaceable conversation please yeah i'm just trying to explain to you yeah right you see there are things that you can't see right yeah gas is one of them yeah poisonous gas yeah. is something that you can't see yeah. all right yeah you can't see it yeah and it's poisoning you see these people here these people here yeah they agree with me you see well oh, they, they really they do yeah 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 but what i'm saying is yeah is that this is an ele there's no emissions up next, we have another McDonald's freak out. Looks like this Karen didn't get her happy meal. She got a crappy meal instead, dude. Because I was nice to you! Do not touch you! I'm not gonna do anything! I need to prove my point because she's being rude! For no reason! I came in here nice! Do not touch me! Do not touch me! Do not touch me! Do not touch me! Yeah. 
In today's episode of When Karens Attack, we have a racist Karen who takes her car-related anger to a whole new level. And she just assaulted me and spat in my face. What did you do to my car? What did you do to my car? Hello? Stupid psycho? You're finding stuff in the street and you're coming to say it's mine? Does the neighbor have cameras? Yes! Yes, they have cameras! I hope they are Jewish and you see how they're going. A female TikToker tries to check a man for apparently looking at her in the gym. Do you need something? Do you need something? Okay, I thought so. Are you okay? Keep the pushing. If you're getting if you're getting through, we can leave. Nobody was looking at you any type of way. I don't own the gym, I, I work here. Okay. Yes. And that if you're getting what? rude, then you can leave. That means what? I can go out of police and have you trespassed mm -hmm. right now. Would you like that? Go ahead. Okay, cool. Go ahead, let them know. That's what we'll do. So right now, let's just take the stuff and hit our cut. Cut the cameras. We've come across a crazy Karen. Brace yourselves. Spoiled man-child Kevin gets told off by his grandmother. Oh no! That's a big L right there, bud. And a big dub for the grandma. Oh my gosh. I'm waiting for my lunch. You still waiting for bloody hell? Like, you are you gonna hurry up and give me my lunch or not? No, I'm not gonna hurry up and give you your lunch because you're 42 years old and you're still living with your grandmother and you're expecting her to do everything for you. Last bit your bed, for instance. When did you last wash your sheet, for instance? When did you last put the rubbish out, for instance? You don't even collect the rubbish. You wait for me to do it, and then you let me stroll around the stairs to take it out. Well, You're first, useless. First of all, I'm 38. Oh, I see. Did I make a mistake there? Yes. Okay, so you're 38. So my own grandmother don't know my own age. That's got nothing to do with it. The point is, I want you to tell me last time you did anything around well, this house. And I want you to just go make me my lunch. Well, you can have a brainstorm and forget. Or you can starve. Because I am not doing it anymore, I tell you. There's six of you. Yes. And five of you have got jobs. And five of you come round and you see me and you, they bring me little presents. And you are sitting here like a useless lump of charcoal doing absolutely bloody nothing. But the thing is, life is hard. It's hard. I can't Do you know get why a job. life is hard? I can't get a job. You can't even try to get a job. What did you ask to do an interview? And life is hard for me because I am playing nursemaid to a useless lump like you. I've had well, it. I, look, I just had it. Very soon, yeah. Very soon. I won't need to get a job. Why not? Because this house is going to be mine. 
It is. It is not. So I mean, what I can do is I, mean, I can sell this house. No, right? you cannot. I Shall I tell can. you something? I've written my will and you aren't even in it. But this will be... I'm leaving everything live... to the British Heart Foundation because and I you and here. the kids. No, you don't live here. I do live here. No, you don't. So, wait. No, you don't. You're not even on the electoral register here. Well, that doesn't matter because yes, I does. live here. You have so... no way of coming no, here. I can, I can sell this house. No, you can't. I I've left it then, to the live... British Heart Foundation who put my new heart in for me. Every penny is going to them. You will get nothing. And do not even think about claiming that you live here because you couldn't even be bothered to put yourself on the electoral register. That's it. I don't, I don't you're out of here. You're out of my life. I just, and I if life is hard, I wait just, till you get to 82 and you have a useless lump of... Well, I'm not even going to say that word, but a useless lump of nothing. Absolutely. Oh, I just give up. I want you out of here. Are you going to make me my lunch? No! I am not going to make you lunch. Go and make it yourself, you lazy turd. Go on. Another day, another takeout freakout. I'm young. I'm going to stay What do you mean? Why my mother like that? You just back in the first. What do you mean? It's my mother money. You're going to get in my mother I'm gonna call you back. 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 I'm gonna call you Get ready for an epic clash as a fearless lady confronts an entitled Karen who dares to snatch her child. It's a showdown of entitlement and maternal fury. So wait a minute, did you take him off of there to put her on there? No, no, as in um... Cause he was on there first and I seen y'all walk up. Yeah, uh, was... So, so I'm confused. Yes. He wasn't. I seen him playing on it the whole time. And then you telling him now to wait. So I'm a little confused. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. I was, and maybe I was confused. I thought that. I seen him playing on it the whole time. And I kept telling him to be careful because the little baby was there. So you heard me yelling, be careful. But we, you're not going to stop him from playing with it when he was already playing with it. You get what I'm saying? Yes, I understand. I was just trying to encourage her to let him have it until he was done and then i thought he was done but maybe he wasn't because i thought yeah because he, he was playing he was it, he was playing with it and i just didn't want him to hit her yeah, i understand and I but now that. i hear you telling him to wait no he shouldn't have to wait because he was already playing with it you guys were over there when we came you was way over there and he came over here to play with this so we're not gonna stop him from playing with that because you want to let her play with it that's not what we gonna do okay I understand that, and you know what, Emma, can we get off and let Kai have his time? No, no, we're not going to push Kai off, okay? He was playing with it first, and I misunderstood that he was done with it, but sounds like he's not playing with it, okay? So, Miss Emma, can we please get off? Hold on. Excuse me. All right. I just, I want to just get on there like five minutes. Okay. Now, Bubs, you will sh <laughs> You hear me? Okay, you will share, but we're not gonna stop you from playing with it. So no, you know when you were playing with it and they were all the way over there, but you will share, you hear me? So I'm gonna time you, you have two minutes and you're gonna go play with something else, okay? okay. Hold on to your seats as we witness the wild antics of Kevin in action. Graffiti. All right, you're on tape now. Thank you. I'll just stay here until you leave because I'm, I'm trying to work. You. What's your name? I'm, what's your name? I didn't ask Luke. you. Yeah. Good. Well, Mr. Do you need to leave? Well, I'm not going to. Well, this is graffiti. Well, it's not. It's a city project that I've been it's, paid for by the City Storm well, Commission to, to educate. There's a permit that you don't need to see. This is graffiti. It's not graffiti. Just because you stand here and paint doesn't mean it's you're from the city. Well, I am. You need to prove it. Not to you. Well, well, let's wait then. 
God, you the. I'm not going to harm you. You must I'll have you nothing you. better to do than to be harassing you don't an have artist. Anything better to do than put graffiti on the wall. Oh, this God. is graffiti. I can't wait to post this on my social media stuff. Please do. Graffiti Keeping on, in mind, you wouldn't tell me your name, and I told you my name. Well, that's not important. Well, what is your name? I will tell the police. What I'll do you tell do? Tell the police. When All right, come. you get the police. No, well, you're, you're afraid to call. Them. I'm not. I'm just. You're afraid. I to know call them. that. I know that if they, if I call them. I'm gonna have to deal with them coming down here, and I'd That's rather you just leave. They'll take you away. No, they Stay won't. Away. Jesus Christ! All right. No, I'll, I'll Imagine the chaos as a wild Karen disrupts a peaceful trip to Trader Joe's. So it was Friday, June 9th, around 8:30 p.m. when I encountered my first ever Karen situation. Here I am trying to back into a parking spot that I patiently waited for. Then here comes Karen, zooming out of nowhere at full speed, trying to get into the same parking spot. As you guys can clearly see, the parking spot is directly behind me, and I'm backing into it. The way her car is positioned, she literally went around me to try to get into the parking spot. Then she continued to say that this is going to become a lawsuit and that I'm harassing her and her son, which I wasn't because I'm literally just trying to back into a parking you spot. You can move. No, no you can I'm move. Going to hit this car. My, the corner you're of my not car. gonna hit it. You, you're not gonna decide for me. If okay. I'm gonna go hit a car. Okay. Look, you okay. need to take. You need to go and you okay. need to go pray to Allah because right now what you're doing is no, so No, you need to disgusting. go pray to Allah. You what you're doing is completely disgusting. <laughs> Talking about you need to go pray to Allah. No, you need you to go need pray to, to go. Allah. You need to go. Right now. You need to go. If a police I work for a law firm. So if a police comes here right now and you touch my car, you're at fault because you are operating your car. I'm simply parked, so there's your insurance claim. There's another parking spot. There's another parking spot that's on there, but you want to put fixate on that? I work for a law firm, so bring it. So after 10 minutes of harassing me, this Karen finally realized that she can move forward and I can happily back into the parking spot and we can both go into Trader Joe's and live happily ever after. Respectfully, thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the captivating world of dash cams, where entitled drivers play their wildest games. Give it up for the Dollar Tree cashier who fearlessly stood up to Karen's nonsense and deserves the highly coveted Employee of the Month accolade for masterfully handling her outrageous behavior. That means you can go get the same amount of worth. After he just sit and cuss me in the store. I mean, I don't want to do it anything. I got to do anything. Because you're a rude mother. You're a rude mother. What you mean you're a broke mother? Because you got $40 worth in the basket. It don't make a money. It don't make a money. Or did I, did I ask you if you was going to hand over the $10 worth of yeah, you had over here? $10. You had two $5 lights, right? 
That's ten dollars worth of shit you have right here. Now you gave me eight dollars worth of shit in a basket that you said I'm not Don't gonna get. Me again. You walked around this children, corner like children, this. Children. Bro, get your hand out of my face, bro. Get your jacket. Hey, you come back here, bro. Don't be fired, morning. Don't be fired. I bet. I bet you don't be fired. I'm not sure that. 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 Okay, cool. Cool. Um, I thought he had a grand. Cool. Got it don't make got smart boots. Well, well, What's your head manager's Now we have this family who put the reflective tint on their windows so their neighbor couldn't see in, and this is what happened. Woke up to my neighbor threatening my wife. I'm gonna follow you, and I'm gonna grab you, take you hostage. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead. I saw what you did. People are you just can't get along with us. Well, all we're trying to do is just be your neighbors. But what you do is you try to <laughs> you try to be ma maniacs. Throw rocks at us. Your crazy girlfriend in the window, and you make all you tease our dog. The guy throws his cat out here. Go ahead, record me. I already recorded you. I got cameras all over you recording now. I got a hard drive. Go ahead. Send it, send it to anyone you want. You people are hassling us. All we're trying to do is live together here. And you idiots are out here harassing us. Your stupid tenant over there. You are a buddy. You're a I've already talked to you people to try to get along. What's your problem? Why do you sneak around and tease our dog when we're trying to get along with you? You're a chicken, man. You just got your camera. We, t we talked to you a long time ago. I thought we had an understanding. Why are you teasing our dog and trying to upset us? Why are you doing that? Cops finally arrive, but that doesn't stop him from complaining. Why you guys? Why you guys you know, like that? That's what I did. Thank you. 
What do you think about this next clip? Let us know what you think below. A lot of engineers who could help you. I I am putting this to buzz. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> hey genius, why do you take the lid off? Yeah. Take the lid off. It's your pride open. There you go. You needed a liberal to help you with that, dude. You're too stupid to figure it out on your own. Go throw it away. No, please. You worked so hard. Throw it away. You've worked so hard. We've done it together. Come on, we're bonded now. Come on, you can do it. You're so close. You're so close. Try the other one. Look, there's no lid on that one. Come on, you can do it. There's no lid on that one. Come on, do it for the boys. They're not so proud of you right now. Don't you want to make them proud? Come on. Oh, you're gonna keep it. Oh, keep it under your pillow. Behold, the most outrageous Karen meltdown. Yeah. You, I don't give a f yeah. You're a nasty fat. No, it's your nasty ugly. Step, step to me. Yeah, touch bitch, me. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Touch me. Touch me. Ooh. Step to her, mother. Me again. Go ahead. Come and attack me again. I got it. He got Come it. Come and attack Come me again. Come and make sure they get your That ain't no woman. That ain't no woman. That ain't no woman. Prepare yourselves for the disgruntled Kevin who's far from pleased with the antics of this couple. Hey man! I'm just taking a video, is that alright? Are you are you is this Christian? And what are y'all doing here? I'm just kidding. Is that a church? Yes, it is a church. What kind of a church? It's the United Church. And you're doing this? Yes. Is God for this? Absolutely. God is for love, for welcome, for hospitality. God is very positive. God is we, for... We feel is God for same-sex marriage? Absolutely. God is for love. Where's that in the Bible? Oh, you don't know? <laughs> but I do know that it says God is love. God is love? Yes. Of course he is. But he's holy too. You believe God is holy? Absolutely. You believe he's got commands? And do you believe we should obey them? Do you believe we should obey them? Because Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Yeah, but love, love is not on the expense of truth, is it? Yeah, but this is an abomination to God. I do. Do you read your Bible? Do you read your Bible? But do you read your Bible? You don't? But this is supposed to be like a Christian church or something, right? Yeah, but a Christian is a Christ follower. You're not really following Christ. Christ. Are you following Christ? But this is an abomination. Oh, this is a this is disgusting. You need to repent and trust Christ as your savior. Because without Christ you're going to a devil's hell. Did you know that? You need the Lord. You've been deceived, man. And I don't want you to be deceived. 
I'm worried for your soul. Yes. You know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? I'm not worried about it. Do you, do, you, do you know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? I used to record Yeah, but do you know what happened? I used to record this, but I would like to stop because we can have a conversation. But do you know what happened at Sodom and Gomorrah? I would like to stop recording. This is, a, this is, this is crazy. If, this is not Christian. This is an abomination. And God's going to judge those people. It's wrong. It's wrong. Hold on tight because what Kevin ends up doing will leave you astounded. Yes. Make me the, give me the thing. Give me the. Give me the roller. Give me the roller. Give me the roller. Yeah, give me the roller. Let's go. Give me the roller. Yeah. stumbled upon an extraordinary Kevin, spewing racist remarks that are too remarkable not to be shared. Get the out of my town. Get the out of my town. Use my name again. You'll end up in a grave. Use my name again. You'll end up in a grave. You with all your friends. I just told you what I just said. Say it again. Turn around. Say it again. Ain't saying brother. You're going to call me the N-word? I just called you the N-word. Why? Because you act like one. Have you called him names? I'm going to call Popo. Yes, do please, it, do. please do. It's probably your dad. You're going to fake oh, fake no. phone call. Oh. After you call me the N-word, you're going to make a fake phone you're call. You're literally in settings. Call. Yes, I have my phone in my hand. I'm not doing anything to you. Don't step on my foot. I'm sorry. That's assault. And that's assault. After calling me the N-word. That's assault. I'm a what? You. You're a nice guy. Surviving as neighbors to these two Karens is a thrilling test of patience as they turn daily life into an adventure of frustration. Okay, so last video, she said that if I mind my own, she'll mind her own. Well, I just came to dump the trash and uh, she didn't mind her own. She was cat calling me, calling me. So she's like, I talked to victim advocate. And I can say whatever I want. And I said, what about you being a good neighbor? And she was like, nope, not to you. So, you know what? They want to start. They got their name. Right where their house is. Laura and Larry Woods. Actually, it's Wood. But yeah. That's how I figured out who they were. So... Here you go. Just in case I want to. Why don't you turn that off and let's have a civil conversation? Can you do that? Nope. Huh? Well, nope. Dad, you need to go away. Nope. I'm on the road. Yeah, I know. That's okay. And you can take it all and you can give it to the police and they can't do a damn thing about it. So just keep taking them. You can take all the videos you want, all the pictures you want, and you're not going to move and tell us to move. Nothing's going to happen to us. We've already talked to the police. We were just up there the other day. So, you do what you want, honey. You started the trouble, and you know what? Karma's a b It'll come back. Yeah, that's why your van's all messed up, because Karma's Yeah, because you guys are fucking... Nope. Nope. But that's really that's really nice having your name on the front of your door. That's a good call having the your name on the door. You can think I care. You might. You might care. You don't even know anything. You don't even know anything. Yeah, yeah, Lisa Webber told me everything. 
Of course she did. Yes, she did. That's why you have your information miscorrect. Like, you don't have the right information. She was so happy to tell me all this stuff. Uh-huh. I bet. Yep, I bet. Is that before or after she blocked you? That was after. I just had dinner with her when my sister was in town. Okay. The madness just won't quit. Yeah, okay. She's standing over here just videotaping us. What? No, I was walking down the road and decided to get a picture of your name. You don't have to worry about it because we're going to block it where you can't see us. Okay, how? Okay, okay. No, I'm not gonna go in my house. I'm gonna do what I wanted to do. But you tell me to mind my own. I was minding my own, and then you were right here. So how is that minding your own? How is that minding your own? If I'm out here and I take my trash out, and then you don't talk to him. You don't need to talk to him. It doesn't matter. He's a kid. You creep him out. You freak him out. What do you do to me? You stare at us all the time. You creep me out. I think you want to fuck my husband. Oh, yeah, of course I do. Oh, baby. Ooh, baby. I don't know why you stare at me all the time. It scares me. Yeah, I can't hear you. You got to come over here and talk. Shut up. Yeah, no. No. We're not going to go anywhere near you. But if she wants me to mind my own, have her not come out and call me a bitch every time. Of course you can't. Yeah, I thought it was a good idea that you just have your last name plastered on your house. Sure. As many times as needed. Nope. I finally did something about it today, girl. Let me tell you. All right. Keep threatening. I'm not threatening nobody. I told you where I went. I went to, up to the police department and met with victim advocates. Yeah, because you're the, because you're the victim, right? Because you're the victim. You went to victim's advocate because you're the victim. Yeah, that makes sense. We are. And I was told what I can and can't do. Yep. You can't be a good person. Now our neighbor Kevin has joined the chaos. Ask him if he knows what this means. I don't give a f He knows what it means. He'll do it you. Do not speak to him. He's done nothing to you. He's a child. Well. What? I don't want to talk to you. You want freedom you. of speech is? I don't give a f You leave my child alone, weirdo. What are you? He's my child. Leave him alone. Do not talk to us. 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 Yeah, you're on the road, but you step one foot. Yeah. Yeah. I've had it. I've had it. I have to. Back home. Stop walking back here and antagonizing. What? Why do you think people love me? Tell me this. I've answered that question. There you have it. You need to go back home. But these neighbors around, even the simplest tasks, turn into epic quests. Quit recording my kids! Why are you recording my kids? No, you're recording my kids and everyone's gonna about you. You're recording children, you sick Don't! No, shut up! I don't want to I ain't even got a damn thing! No, shut the up! You have the whole neighborhood that can't stand your so you need to move. Away! Children. Kids, you sick! You let go. You're sick. You record children. That's fair. You record children. That's. I don't give a what you gotta say. Creepy. Shut the up. I don't care. Control your Control creepy self and your husband. Talk to me. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. She's got permission. You don't. Yes, she does. Why would I be over there? Why are they over there? Because, because Animal Control hasn't caught them yet. 
Oh yeah, that's that's why they drove by and didn't even do anything. Your dog's charged, kids, man. She just had him in a fenced-in area that she has the right to. I am so sick of your. I want you to move the way, and I will do whatever I can to make sure you move the way. Go ahead, then go. Creep on somebody else's cat. You're welcome. Jesus. It's because you are worse. Okay. Well, you should because then you want to write apology letters and put them on the door and say you're so sorry and cry to the cops and say that you don't feel good, but then you do it over again. Okay. We'll see about that. The craziness continues. I don't care. I don't care. You've been on me for four years, and now you're starting on them. So it is my problem. No, I haven't. It's because he's a creepy like she said, and you're no can't keep your mouth shut, and I'm nothing going on in your life, so then you create drama here. You had no reason to start us. We never did a damn thing to you. And you know damn well we did it. I kept my mouth shut for years. And then you wanted to start recording my children and my dogs. I don't care. Shut up. I don't care. I don't care. Shut up. No. You for no reason. For no reason at all. You for no reason. No See, reason. that's it. You always want us to come over to you. If you're so big and tough, then come over to us. I you, my point? Yeah! The point is you don't record children. There's no reason. I'm not out of your yard. So what? So? The cops don't care. Animal control don't care. Mind your business. Mind yours. You're recording me. What the? You psychotic? I record you for our protection because you like to play victim. So it shows people who you really are. You recorded my dogs, my kids, me, your you had no reason. So what? What are you going to do about it? My dog's being out in the field. What's that? Why, why does it bother you? Their dogs are nice. Your, go your dogs doesn't matter to you. What business of it is yours that they're out in the field? What business of it is yours? None. Yeah, I will. I'll film you anytime there's a confrontation, just so I have more proof. I want you out. Go back to Winchester, or did you get kicked out of that town too? You probably got kicked out of there. You probably so many people off, no one would rent to you. You lived in three houses in three years. It's sick. Move away. You might like this neighborhood, but nobody likes you. Nobody. Well, you should because you say you're a Christian and you want to be a good neighbor. Is this being a good neighbor? It's not. You're not a good neighbor. Oh, so you admit you're not a good neighbor. Okay, you're not a good neighbor to them. I, it started with him. You know it. And then it started with you when you threatened my infant to be, to be. You have wished my infant twice. You can laugh all you want. Moving forward, we have a Karen throwing a furious fit at Whole Foods, showcasing a full-blown temper tantrum.
का देखिए While dealing with typically nutty behavior is challenging, this one takes insanity to a whole new level, deserving the Neighborhood Award. I don't have any forms. I know that you're taping. I don't have any Can forms. Can you please use that to dial 911? I don't have any forms. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't believe you. How could I have your forms? Because you were sent here to do this exact thing, what you have just done, which is enter our home while I'm, we are sleeping. What? Enter our home while we are sleeping. Bro, I don't. With a four year old child in our bed. How could I do that? And come and sneak into my file folder. So organized. What are you talking and about? You have replaced them. No. I don't have I am any not going to leave until you put bro, them in my hand. I don't have right any now. Forms, bro. Call 911. Somebody call 911. This is a no. No. I don't have your forms. Ma'am, yes, please. You do. No, I don't. Stop it. Stop it. You don't know what you're doing. He is an undercover agent, just like I said. I'm he not an undercover working. agent. Yes, you are. Call. Why are you not calling 911 then? Help me. Help me. Ma'am. Help me. I don't Help have me and your... my four year old child. I don't have Help your me. forms. Yes, Look, you do. You are making. You are Get losing them. the key. You will lose the key. You will lose the key. No, I won't. No, I won't. You will lose. You're in the wrong. How? Because you entered my home and you took my personal documents that I would prove that you did. Stop it. I would prove that you are not calling 911. Nobody is calling 911. Call right now. Ma'am, I didn't enter your home. I've never been upstairs at all. I. I guess you were. You were up there with the squirt guns. Yes, you were. I don't were. have any squirt were, guns. We had the squirt guns, sir. I was never upstairs. Yes, you were. You said, okay, squirt me with the squirt gun. I've never you said, said that. you said, oh, he spelled his name. That was yesterday. No, it wasn't. Downstairs by the car. No, it wasn't. We didn't talk yesterday downstairs I by the car. I talked yesterday by the no, car. No, why are you doing this? Why are you taking it in a circle? I don't care about so anything. So you think I'm an undercover agent? and put what I know you have in my hands, the computer and the forms. What computer? I don't have your computer, I don't have any forms. They're gone, aren't they? What? They're gone. Well, I'm gonna wait right here. I'm waiting right here Bro. until I get them back. Bro. Play a little song. They got me. They got me. Just, just go. Don't make a journey. But you don't know what you're you are, doing. You are this is a man who's working for the no. enemy. You are so much stress. You are lost to your thinking. No. I'm sorry. You are wrong and I am right this time. You gotta go. Did you call 911? Call 911! There's been a home invasion! Oh. They stole our computer! Yes. I can't. You know it's a different computer. Stop lying. Stop lying. You have lost money. Ma'am. I am not. You know what? Can I go no. somebody? You can't Stop come in the house. Is you are not going to pull me out of here. You are not going to go somebody. No. You are not going to do this to me. You are going to give me that computer. I'm done with that. You are going to give me that exact same computer. You are going to give me that exact same computer. I don't have your computer. They were burned or destroyed or something. By who? I'm not an agent. By Wells Fargo. I don't even know anything about By Wells the Fargo. By the city of Duluth. By the lawyers. It seems our wild neighbor is on an unstoppable rampage. Work for residential services. Lady, incorporated. You have to. I or can't. Ascend services. Or anyone. All those people. They hate me. Bro. Okay, they hated me even before. I no, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell my story. I'm gonna tell my story. They hated me even before I was on my way out. And of RSI as an employer, I had stayed there for like five years. I had your I husband had, and your child are upstairs. I had over two hundred dollars in personal cash that I had saved and all kinds of savings and stocks and bonds. It was just my personal account. Your Listen husband. to me! Listen to me, I'm telling my story. And uh, I go to 
Duluth Grill, that's one of the big ones, Duluth Grill, Dublin Irish Pub, um, all those coffee shops, the Claire Hanlon, the Claire Hanlon Day and the Claire Hanlon. And it's like a little joke because my parents think that it's funny to mess with my life and encourage my enemies. So they hated me because I had money. Hold on. You can't stand in my doorway. I believe that I can. You can't. I do believe that I can. You can't. That's against the law. I'm sorry, but I'm going to still continue to tell my story. At Duluth Grill, I saw that Nurse Mary from RSI. Ma'am, your husband and, and your said, son are upstairs. Claire, are you no longer with RSI? And I was like, no, I resign. Happy as could be. And she paid for my first meal. That was the first and only time that that happened because everybody thought that I was going to get so mad and start a big lawsuit. Stop it. You have Stop it. Everybody thought I was going to get so Why is nobody calling 911? Your, your kid. It doesn't. You have a kid you upstairs. Are, you are something else. Yes, your kid, he's taking your- Sorry, don't worry, don't worry. You'll be okay. I'll see you soon. Aw, I love you! Ma'am, you. he's taking your kid. He's not. He's, he's the child's father. But thank you so much for all of these tactics. And she said, are you no longer with RSI? And she paid. And um, I didn't get mad. Life was just normal to me. I didn't even know what was going on. I know your name's not Artemis. It's okay. I don't, I don't care. That is my I'm name. Claire. I know it's not. It's fine. It's then fine. what do you think my name is? I don't know, but I know it's not Artemis because I know I made up Artemis and I said it aloud and you were listening. That's... Yeah. And well, not you, but somebody was. I know. Isn't it crazy how right I am? Then, during those two years. Okay, can we step towards outside? The end, Let's step towards out. the end of can those we... two years. We have to, I visited get out, get out. We have Peggy to step Nelson's out. son's home. Look at him. Ma'am. You have to stop distracting me. Like this is so important. Lovely, you don't know what you're doing. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I know it's so scary. Ma'am, you have to step out. I know it's so outside. scary. Really? No, I'm not going to let this go. Your I'm not going to let this go. Your stop kid it. is right here. Stop it. I know. I know. He's, what are you? he's so fine. Come, come. No, stop. Please. Please. Okay. Come, come. You can't be in my doorway. Okay. I know, but I really. Okay. Peggy. And Peggy had deceased. I didn't know she was. I didn't know she had deceased. She was dead. And, and then a man. And then a man from Wells Fargo. This Karen just cannot grasp the concept of enough is enough. You can trust me. I am a good person. I've showed everyone that I was a good person. You are a good person, but you can't be inside my house. Okay, but I'm... Look, please, okay, step please, outside please, of my house, please. But I need to speak with you. Okay, In, we'll, No, I need outside. to speak with you inside the home. Please, I need to speak with you inside You can't be home. inside my house. Please, I need to speak with you inside the home. I don't know what's going on. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Especially Peggy Nelson. I don't know Especially who the f Peggy is Peggy Nelson. Nelson. You do. Lady, I see. I see. you cannot be in my and house. You know what I know. You I know don't know what, what know. you know. You, you can't know, be. You know more than I know. I don't know anything at all. I know that you're so, my neighbor. You guys are so scared of me. And it's okay. Please don't be scared. I'm not going to. I know that you're my neighbor. I'm you can't be in anybody. here. I'm not going to hurt you. Oh, Artemis. Come on, you can try. I'm a, such a good person. I understand. I appreciate it. And you know it. You know it. But you can't be inside my house. Yes, I can be. Because I need No, to you can't. Yes, I have business with you. I have business with you and you know it. How? First of all, stop trying to say that you didn't destroy my personal property. My I've never computer. seen anything that you have. Please call 911. Are you Please. calling 911 on yourself? No, I'm calling 911 on this whole thing. Please, you, you don't know look. what you're doing. Bo, you, you should not, not have let them in. You, you Why did you breach security? We are, are... No. Okay, listen, I don't want money. I don't want money. No, listen, not, just let me speak. No, 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 wait, yourself. this is, no. What are you doing? Who has my baby? You're going to lose your kid. You can't be in someone's house. Please go get him. You're going to take that whole life. Please go get him. Please. You can't be Oh my God, please go get Abby. You are going to his house and you have forced No, this is, 
Bo. You understand that you're inside Bo, my house. No, you know. You know. Why are you lying? You. Why are you lying? You I did not lose. You can't be inside my house. I did not lose. You're going to lose. I'm not going to lose. You need to step outside of my house. Hold on to your hats, folks. Even Karen's husband has reached his limits with her relentless rampage. Oh, that's another big L. That's another big L. And a big dub for the husband. I was a good person no matter what. Peggy, Peggy's picture was up and her son. I said, oh my God, Peggy, I worked with her at RSI. I loved her. I loved her. All right, let's step outside. Look, I'll talk to you outside. How about that? Can we please talk inside? No. Why? Because this is my home. No, it's not. Then what is it? It's like an office. It's not an office. It's a home. It's a hub. It's not Do a I hub. Do I have to say the exact name? Come yeah. on, I'm not that smart. Lady. I know, but, yeah, but I am, right? I am, no. Lady, I am. listen to like, me. Please don't be scared of me. I'm not going to okay. no, 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 I'm, no. I'm hurt you. Okay, Stop no, it. No, He's going to no, talk okay. to me. He's going to talk to me. Come, um, bring me up. You can't be inside. Oh, no, you're going to talk to me. Okay, outside. Okay. No, you're going to talk to me with my husband and my child. Outside. Inside. Okay. Outside of my house. Inside of you're your hub. No, it's Stop. not a hub. Please, just do what I say! I can't touch her, but you have to stand outside. Oh my god! You are... Please bring Kavi. Where is Kavi? You're inside my house. No, stop it. Just get Kavi and we're going to talk with Artemis inside. Hold on. Okay, but, but I know that you have a code name Artemis. I know that you are working for RSI. I'm, I don't even know what RSI is. Yes, you do. You have to... Vote, please stop! Come inside with Kavi right now! You we'll can't do... come inside yes, my I can. house. Yes, I can. No, you can't. We need privacy. Outside? No. Privacy is inside. Not in my house. I'm not going to hurt you. She takes the term crazy, Karen, to a whole new level. And trust us, we're the experts. We would know. Yeah! Okay, yeah, go. No, you're going to talk to me more. I'm not going to talk about anything. You need to get out of my house. Are they, are they right there? Are yeah, right sure, there? whatever. Get out of my oh house. My Even with the presence of law enforcement, our persistent troublemaker shows no signs of stopping. Her husband and the kid. Right, so, I've been talking to him. I'm going to see my three more times. Just now, I'm sitting on the bed and she's boom, 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 boom. Oh my gosh. I look at the peephole and I'm like, oh, it's my neighbor. I open the door. Oh, you're a CIA agent. You broke in our house while we were sleeping and took our documents and computer and just a bunch of crazy. I got it all in the videos. No, never. And she, then she, did she break no. something? Or? Well, she she was she grabbed this and was like, "Oh, this is an ultrasound, bro. This is me and my wife. It's not even real." Okay. And she you grabbed it, and I told her, "I was like, okay. I told her husband, you can have it. Just let her have it. If that makes her happy." She was holding on to this, and I guess when he pulled it out of her hand, her hands cut. But I got everything documented. Everything's documented. Okay. I don't have. He, she, they've never so been. You, so she's a, you, you're not hurt or anything. She oh, didn't come I'm good. In, I'm good. Hurt you or no. anything? Or she got in. Okay. I turned my back and she closed the door and locked it. Okay. So then I'm I'm, I'm trying to unlock it to get her out. The husband's been coming back and forth trying to grab her out. No. Still while I tending to so the kid. Much. And so he comes much. down to like, how are you going to lose no, a kid? And she doesn't give a f. You're still sending the door. Okay. Hey, just shut the door. She's I don't know that I'm married. I don't I mean, know you that I'm married because I asked my husband. Yeah, yeah, you get it. You get it. Because we're just trying to get a little detail here. Check out this hilarious clip. Who's got it all wrong and who's got it right? No. Yeah, no, you just support the genocide of trans kids and you want ever, everyone who's born to die. Yeah, no, that you do. That is such an assumption. It's such an assumption, right, with all of this. Right. What is anti trans on the table? <laughs> Your TPS, TPUSA, you don't. Hey, that's yeah, I will actually. Hey, I, I have it on camera. Hey. Oh boy, get ready for some prime Karen action with this next neighbor. They always take the cake in the worst neighbor category.
are always with us. We're not, we're not trying to, like, be bad neighbors. We're just trying to live here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What, what do you think we did to you? Yeah? Why, why are you even coming over here right now? Yeah, why are you sneaking around our house? I'm tired, right? What are you I'm tired, tired of? I'm in the, with my family in my house, and I, I never come here. Besides talking me, why? Because I don't want problems. Yeah, we don't want problems. We're just trying to mind our own business. You come and you put things on our porch, and you put vinegar on our things, and you pile rocks, and you throw things on the fence, and you jump in our backyard. We don't want any problems with you. We just want to live here peacefully. We don't even need to interact with you at all. But you're constantly grabbing your boobs and grabbing your crotch and talking to us. You don't want any problems. I do because I'm a lady. So you grab your because you're a lady. Because I'm a lady. Okay, I'm a I, lady I too. Don't, I don't like your ladies. Yeah, that's I good. Like, but if you're not, like that's not ladies. that's not how you tell someone that you don't like ladies. Because in a lot of places, this means you're flirting. Okay. That's how me. For so me, for me, I'm a lady. Yeah. I have a slightly different approach. I don't that's, like it. You yeah, know. that's fine. I like ladies. This is my wife. We're married. I'm not interested in you at all. I just want you to stay on your property. We're going to stay on our property. Just don't f*** with our lady. Jesus, you had, you had an issue with us the moment we walked into this neighborhood. We tried to say, hi, we're your neighbors. You wanted nothing to do with us the whole time. No, because I don't want a problem with anybody. Yeah, because you're a homophobe. So stop hating on us. We, the only reason that we don't like you is because you're I mean, seriously, this lady thinks she's the queen of the neighborhood doing whatever she wants without consequences. So go mind your own business. Go back to your house. I'm not doing nothing. I'm doing my house. You're sneaking around over here. Why right not? What the f are you doing? Yeah, but why? Why? Why can't you just leave us alone? Just go home and mind your own business. You spend so much of your time thinking about us. Get a life. Find something else to do with your time. We mind our own business. Go mind your own business, lady. After you. I stay in my house. No, you I don't. You're over my here. House. You're over here right now. So just go I'm home. talking about different things. We, we don't do anything to you. I All we stay do, in my house. All we do is nothing about this house. So, so, have so why are you in your backyard? When I go past, you guys tell me. Because we're I'm just trying to say hi. I don't, I don't want any problem with yeah, you. Yeah, we're trying to kill you with kindness. We wanted to kill you with kindness. And you're always... Guess what? She's back again, flaunting her dance moves right in front of their ring camera. <laughs> like, really? Can't she find a better stage? Not that anyone would want to watch this.
Yeah, you're on my property still. I'm on site. On my property. You want in my husband? I give it to you. You, you can bring your husband over. I'll talk to him. I give it to you. Hold on tight, because their brand new ring camera caught some crazy stuff on its very first day. You won't believe your eyes. Now brace yourself for a journalist who fearlessly confronts a sports minister. Is he going to school him or be left speechless? M Madame Saint Ange, I have a question. I have a question for you. You want? You've said you don't want Belarusian and Russian uh, uh, athletes at the Olympics. Sorry, I'm just asking a question of the minister. She's the minister of sport. I'm asking. She doesn't want Russian or Belarusian athletes to participate in international Olympics or sporting events. But did you feel the same way after the U.S. invaded Iraq? Okay, c'est bon. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. How about Afghanistan? How about Canadian? How about Canadian troops after we bombed? How about Canadian athletes after we bombed uh, Libya or Afghanistan? Excuse me. Why? Why won't you answer the question? It's a really simple question. Minister Saint Ange, it's a really simple question. Why? How about how about Israeli athletes? Israel has a 50-year occupation. 50-year occupation of of Palestinian lands an apartheid state. How about banning Israeli athletes? Living next to a Karen like this one must be like living in a real life circus. It's gotta be incredibly challenging to say the least. What are you talking about? Why you take pictures of me? Because you guys are weird and creepy and instigate. Why you call the What do you mean? What do you mean? Your dogs get out all the time. They've charged me and my son. They've attacked one of my dogs. No, they yes, they have. They attacked dog. Yes. Your dog was out in the yard or what? Yes, it was on my property. What? They jumped no, I was out here. And my dog attacked your one of your big dogs. Yep. Yep. And your son. Yep. Are you lying to me? Nope. Thank you are. Nope, I'm not. Thank you are. I'm not lying at all. Oh well. You'll pay. What does that mean? That means you will pay. How? How? Yeah. How will I pay? It's just called karma. Oh, karma? I'll pay money. Okay. I take care of my dogs. I don't let them out. They don't chase kids. They don't charge kids. They don't attack other dogs. Are you stupid? Nope. Pretty much. Nope. Did your mommy and daddy raise you like that? I should. You're one to talk with your mouth, with her mouth, and you being creepy and following me and being behind me. Which one? Yeah. Yeah. No. Huh. I'm sorry if you can't hear, that's not my fault. But you guys need to keep better care of your dogs and you need to stop instigating stuff. I was following you. Oh yeah, it's been going on for years, man. You know what I'm talking about because I called you out when you did it to her. Where do I follow you to? You just stand right behind me, man. When? What does it matter? It's happened and I talk to you about it and then you get all mad at me. I followed you. Yep. You're stupid. Nope.
You just gonna stand there and record me too? I mean, that's fine. It's because I have to, because one, you just stopped right in front of my drive, right in front of my property, mean mugging me, egging me on. Yeah, you're allowed to, but the fact that you say you're too scared to even come by my house, but yet you slow roll by and you instigate stuff, and now you're instigating stuff now, you don't seem too scared. I'm telling you, this Karen takes the neighbor from hell title to a whole nother level. It's like she has a PhD in causing chaos. I'm not scared. Oh, but that's what you tell everyone else. You're too scared to walk by my property because I record you. That's fine. I would rather you move down the street so that I don't have to see you. I, I would too, and all of our problems will be solved. No, because you guys are still creepy. Well, he can be creepy to you, but just leave him alone. I do leave him alone. You don't leave me alone. He doesn't leave me alone. If you just left me alone, it'd be fine. I installed a three grand privacy fence and an extended fence just to get some distance from you, and you guys still do it. What do you mean keep talking? I'm just telling you, I spent all this money trying to get some distance between us and you're still doing it. You're stopping right in the middle of the road, egging me on. No, I'm not. I was just standing here. Nuh-uh. No. I have it on video. No, I, he started it. No, he didn't start it. You did. Go. There's a car behind you. Well, I'm not this way. He right Go. Yes, it was on my property. What? It's just No, I was out here. And my dog attached to one of your big dogs. Yep. I'm not lying at all. You'll pay. What does that mean? That means you'll pay. How? How? Yeah. How will I pay? It's just called karma. Oh, karma? Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you today's restaurant freakout, courtesy of none other than Buffalo Wild Wings. Watch in awe as Karen loses her mind over a parking spot. 
<laughs> Seriously, it's just a parking spot, dude. Chill out! Hi. Will you move your car out of that spot, please? Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, somebody asked if they could use it, and I told them they could. They asked if they could use it, and I told them they could. I know, but I was before that. We can be done with everything then. Uh, it's. I gave them permission. The same way you came and asked to use the shed, they came and asked if they could use the spot. And then for for you to park there so they can't, it's kind of making me look bad. I'm paying you. Okay? I'm paying fifty bucks a month for that spot. Still. Well, I know, but I asked ahead of time. They parked and I couldn't get my couches out, so I parked so I could use it. How is this any of my problem? Because it's your space. I came. It's to my space. I you came to... and asked if you could use the shed. Yes. They came and asked if they could use the spot. Okay, but then... you decided to take the shed and the spot. They were blocking me from being able to. Then move your out. out of it, and we can I be am. done with it. That's what I said. <laughs> Jesus, you are such a man. You know, cheering your kids on at their sports events should be a joyful experience, but beware of the lurking Karen, because things can go from fun to fiery real quick. Hey, come on, bud. Come on, let's go. Two and two. Boys, real. focus. Bye, bye. Yeah, real. Hey, that's it. I'm going to ask you guys to go back to your car, because I can't have it around the kids back and forth. Absolutely, I agree. Absolutely, I agree. Absolutely. I agree. Absolutely. That's very sad. Right. We can't even have a ball game without somebody coming. She don't know who she's talking to, buddy. I got to go to the car.